Hello all you chill cats, killer kittens, and variations thereupon. We are back with some more wildflowers today, which is a um, fun little farming sim that we've been playing. It's very cozy and relaxing. Um, it is a little bit grindy, so there will be some grinding today. Um, <laughs> But I think that I still am going to use the exploit, the quote-unquote exploit, um, because <clears throat> there's just so many grindy elements to the game that the money system is like so infuriating to me that it, if I like play the game the quote the way it's like quote-unquote supposed to be played. Um, I just won't have as much fun as I will if I essentially like utilize the means to get around the the money system so that's what we're gonna do because there are other elements to the game that I find enjoyable I don't know why all farming simulators need to like do the money system but I guess I guess it's common we're also um, trying to build a barn today so that we can get animals uh, because we got the rancher last time um so we will do that and we will also transition from spring to summer which will be exciting because it will mean that next next stream we will have all new crops for summer so let's get into it There it is. Alrighty. Let's continue. How they have one day remaining. Okay, I left those blank because um, I didn't want to plant anything new. Do I have I'm anything? All out of strength. I could eat some food. I don't even know if I have anything. Oh. Wait, that's right. I did, I got it, but I need to clear the space. That's right. I wonder whether, how much money do I have? What's open today? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still a bit mucusy. It's just, I remember that apple pie was something that, like, was really good for energy. Are you open today? What day is it? It's Wednesday. So you will be open because it's Wednesday. And the store will be open. We'll be able to do the exploit. What's ruined? Is everything all right? I burn the caramel again. <sighs> Giacomo would always say I should just buy it in the store, but it's not the same. I could never serve a dessert made with caramel from a jar, like at some highway truck stop. I have pride, you know? Oh, I agree. <laughs> store caramel is basically the devil. <laughs> it is. It truly is. Okay. Okay. I'll grab a couple of those. Mm. 
do I have any flour currently? I have rice. I don't think I have flour. Oh. Hi, Damon. What are you shopping for today? Just stop by to say hi to Lena. She's my unofficial big sister. Are you in a program? What's the deal here? Damon, if you're visiting me in your free time, it means you have too much of it. It's time for you to get a girlfriend. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ignore the miserable married. Oh my gosh. I gotta say, what's wrong with being single? <laughs> what's wrong with being single, Lena? I'm fine being on my own. Oh, I didn't mean to offend you, Tara. I was just teasing Damon. <laughs> Thanks for standing up for me, Tara, but Lena's right. I'm used to her ribbon. But I might be ready to meet the right person. So you're single too, right? Mm. Apparently we're good friends now. <laughs> Thomas makes me laugh sometimes. I think the grouchy exterior just hides the teddy bear heart he's got. Ah. Oh. Kids grow so fast. Feels like yesterday I was grabbing mayonnaise to clean crayon off the wall or get gum out of Emmy's hair. Why am I just now learning mayonnaise can do all that? Oh, Tara. Mayo and vinegar will clean just about anything. And wait until you see what happens when you mix them with pepper and scallions. One of the best dressings you'll ever taste. Okay, stool. Ooh, sugar. Let's buy 20. Um, how much do croissants are worthless? Did I get given these croissants? Is it rude to, to give the, to, to, to sell them to Angus? <clears throat> Angus keeps wanting me to be his guinea pig for his more inventive pastry creations. But not all baked goods are worth the calories, to be brutally honest. Yep, no, that's how I feel about croissants. <laughs> I have mountains and mountains of paperwork to file before spring ends. But as mayor, it is my solemn duty to vanquish every last form for Fairhaven. I think it's like your only job, isn't it? Oh, I can do that. I did that one before. store thank you it's not for the store it's for sebastian isn't it that was weird <clears throat> parker oh my stars above <laughs> oops i'm channeling <laughs> <laughs> Hi Olivia! Long time no see! Welcome in! Thank you for redeeming Harmonize Meow! <laughs> and, and giving me a good, good spook. Welcome in! We're playing um, some Wildflowers today. I have played two prior streams of this. Um, and we know some of the town people well, we know all of the town people it's a very small town um and 
we're trying to grow crops, we're trying to help out our granny who's sick and probably gonna die. Um, and we're also a witch because our grandmother is part of a coven. There's also a religious cult that's in that's like very bad in the town um, that people are accidentally sort of starting to join. And we also just got a new rancher who meet, um, whose presence means that we can now buy animals for our own farm. So things are fun. Go and fun in this game. Um, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Have you ever played this one before, Olivia? <coughs> Sorry about my coughing. Okay, that was all that you were going to say about that. This is where the cult hangs out. Oh, it's it's closed. This League of the Conscious Mind. Have you ever heard of anything more culty than that? Here's the doctor's office. Hi. Watch out, new fish. My son's looking for volunteers for his re-election campaign. I, I'm gonna run against him, so no. And you're green enough to not know better. No. Oh my gosh, Jess, hi! Welcome oh, in, Ravens. When, when I purr, it's smooth and slow. Welcome in, everyone. Thank you so much for the rages. Well, I was going to say, what were you doing? As if I wasn't just in there watching you play. <laughs> um, did you have a good time playing the rest of... um? Uh, your stream playing, what was it? Little Witch in the Woods? I think that's what it's called. Let me give you some shout outs. If anybody is not following Jess, you should well, be. Well, the cat's out of the bag. He is a moderator here. He's a long standing member of the community. He's a good friend. Great person. Very fun streamer, very cozy vibes. Would recommend. But yes, welcome in everyone. If you do not know me, if this is your first time here somehow, uh, I am a Vodacat. I'm a variety streamer from Australia. I'm queer and I'm disabled. Um, sometimes I stream with a camera and sometimes when I am not feeling up to that, I stream with this PNG tuber. But I am always a cat. That is my true form. Um, I play mostly cozy games or story-based narrative games. I'm a mixture of creepy and cute. That is kind of my whole my whole deal. Um, so a lot of the games that I play do have some heavy content and some triggering content. I try my best to always provide content warnings, which you will find pinned at the top of the chat. Or you can always find if you get rid of that by doing exclamation point TW for trigger warning. But yeah, um, feel free to like do any post stream things that you need to do. Go and take a break, get some water, get some food, go to sleep, whatever you need to do. Um, this is a great place for lurking if you enjoy that. Um, you know, just a thing to have on in the background. Um, but there's never any any pressure to be here. It's basically at your enjoyment. This is supposed to be a place that we're all enjoying, so. If you're enjoying it here, that's great. If you're not, don't don't feel obliged to stay. You know, do what do what makes you happy. Always about doing what makes you happy. You managed to get rid of the prickly vines of the abandoned town buildings. Nice progress. Love that. That's awesome. I'm glad that you had fun. That's so good. All right, let's get back into my my night is going well. Thank you. Um, let's get back into wildflowers, though. I am having uh, a good time with wildflowers. Um, so 
We're just talking to Bruno, who sells the fish, because when we're, we're going to use the exploit again so that we can get a little bit of money, so that then we can buy food, so that we don't run out of energy today. So it's tuna that we need to stock up on. <laughs> you know how I feel with the exploit. Yeah, we, we're, we're full support of exploit here. Also, I don't think that I talked to... Oh, do you guys just hang out together on your days off? Are they? I don't think that they're related. Baked goods can cure any broken heart. All you need is love. Get it? Kai's hair is always perfect. He's given me some great tips, but these girls just won't be tamed. Okay. <laughs> Nothing new there, really. All right, time to get cooking. Oh, noodles. Oh, I can make noodles. That's cool. And how much energy noodles give me? Where is it? Fish sticks. Fish fingers. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, I can give you the shells. This is just wonderful. I owe you a few free turns at the jukebox next time you come in. Well, that's now. Let me change the song! She won't let me change the song. By 50. Let's go all out. I wish I could ring this big bell. That is like my desire, to ring the big bell. As much as I think like the background scenery is really nice, it's like if you're gonna give me a big bell to look at, let me use it, you know? How's the garden coming along? Um, <clears throat> so the tulips are there for the honey. And in a day that there'll be more honey. Uh, this I just planted, so it's got nine days until it fruits. These two are still got a couple days till harvest. And these ones I've left bare because uh, at some point soon we're going to be converting to summer. And... The crops change at summertime, so you want to harvest all of the ones that you had in spring so that um, they don't die. So yeah, we got to make sure that we harvest everything before we end spring. They don't change automatically. We have to make them change. It's it's part of being a witch, apparently, in this world.
I'm gonna do it one more time. He has, like, so much tuna. One hundred? Like, d the fact that there's a never-ending supply is unrealistic, but I, I don't mind. I'm gonna buy a couple extra. Just to, just to have some flour. I feel like I should have some flour in my pantry, you know? That's a good mechanic. Gives you time to stay in one season as long as your plants are done. Exactly! It is a good mechanic. I'm assuming you can get different plants for each season. Yes! So the crops are different for each season. And I know for a fact that strawberries are in summer. And I am excited for strawberries. Um, because I have a strawberry outfit idea that I want to do for next stream. So that's why we're going to be in summer next stream. So that I can wear my strawberry outfit. A hundred fish fingers! I'm going to start, I'm going to open um, a canteen at the school and just sell fish fingers. <clears throat> like I am cooking them in like huge batches no I didn't want to talk to you Whoa! Okay, I'm I'm done with the exploit now. Hi, Cameron. It's important that everything we put in the body be healthful to keep us in peak condition for climbing the mountain. Did you literally just say healthful? Like, he I don't think healthful is a word. It's so much not a word that my captions keep saying that I'm saying helpful when I'm trying to repeat the word healthful, like he has said. It's not a word. But an occasional indulgence isn't bad. If you're craving something sweet, visit Angus's bakery. He only uses fresh ingredients. I think I think Cameron has a crush on Angus, and I think that Cameron is gonna be a gosh John homewrecker as well as the leader of this new cult. I have so much I I, I have so much spite in my heart against Cameron. Cameron is the worst. <laughs> I'm creating the drama. Like, I just based on this one line that Cameron just said, I'm like, he has a crush on Angus, obviously, and he's gonna break up Angus and Francis. Um, <laughs> which he kind of is, because Francis is anti-cult, whereas Angus is pro-cult. So, like, if that's, like, a plot line, I won't be surprised. But yeah, I hate Cameron. We hate Cameron in this household. If Juliet's hanging out here and Sebastian comes in, she turns red and hides behind the counter. Ooh. That's very observant of you. People think I don't notice stuff, but I'll have you know that I notice a lot. I'm pretty sure the town is called Fairhaven, but let me just check. I say as if I know how to check. You know what? I am actually also going to buy energy thing. I think that coffee is the best value for money. Because it like gives you half your energy, I think. I mean, I don't know about that for certain. I feel like I want to look this up. Hang on. Wild flowers, food, energy, best value for money. 
The most economical energy choice is coffee. Okay, yep, it is coffee. I haven't got the skill to make coffee yet, so, um, no. But I could buy the recipe books here. Maybe this has got it in it. But I think that we need actual coffee for it. I'm gonna find out. Yeah, like coffee beans. And I don't know how to get coffee beans. Let's check it out. Uh, down to beverages. Alright. Cappuccino. Oh! Apparently it's just a fancy coffee, so you need to- I didn't even learn how to make coffee. What a- what a joke. How come hot chocolate and a milkshake are the same ingredients? That's not how that works. Yeah, apparently I still don't know how to make coffee. <laughs> Alright, let's clear this area. No! Let me pick up the sticks first. remember the last playthrough at the end you making a coop so like that's what I'm I have to clear the area for the coop to actually be made I literally just started like I haven't I've, I've only started this um this evening uh like 30 Whoa. minutes ago what's this a recipe oh I can make flan now that's cool I'm also gonna get rid of this rock I think I might actually just clear my whole whole farm today. Like, get rid of all the trees and rocks. Cause why not? Finally. Yeah, you didn't actually miss anything. I could eat some food. Oh. I should buy more coffee. Let's get rid of this one. I don't know whether it's technically in the way, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to walk all the way to Parker and for him to tell me that uh, I don't... Oh, I still got to get rid of this rock. Coffee is like 40 gold, so it's not super expensive. So it's probably like the best value for money for energy. Oh, weed. But there's also like, I want to do a, a patch here, a um, vegetable patch so that I can like grow a whole bunch of stuff. Because I would like the little garden to the side to be like flowers only and then like the big vegetable patch to be like oh what you doing here oh that's right both of these guys are like part of the part of the cult 
crafting vegetable patch. Okay, so I need some stuff for it. I need I need quite a bit more soil. So I should make some soil. That's also I could make this whole area a place for gardening, but you'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Cool. Got it? You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. Is there a limit on how much you can buy? I don't know. Alright, let's do chicken coop. Okay, I'll get started fixing up that old coop right away. Should only take a day or so. Should be ready in a few days. Cool, cool, cool. You gonna close your door now? I should go say hi to Shelby. Wait, no, I should buy some chocolate, some chocolate, some coffee first. Hang on, I haven't spoken to any of the children yet today. Mommy had me start a dream journal. She said it's a good idea to keep track of your dreams, so you can go back and reflect on them. But so far, it just feels like more homework. Did I already talk to you today? I guess I already talked to you today. I think maybe I did already talk to the kids today. That's weird. That must have been last time I streamed. <laughs> you notice this game is only on Windows and Switch? Ah. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, let's buy that many. That seems like a good amount. You'd think that this game would be for like more consoles. It feels very much like a console game, you know? <clears throat> a shoosh. I love the shrooms. There are some peanuts over there. I love how, like, it, how massive the peanuts are on the ground. Like, look at this. What are you listening to, Juliet? I don't think you'd know the band. They're pretty punk. <laughs> You've never heard of them. Trust me. Oh, where's Shelby? He go on walkabouts. Maybe he's like, sometimes he does go like to the beach. What setting do I have it on? I've got it on relaxed. I thought so, I just thought I'd check because sometimes I have it on a different speed. And then I think that the way that I'm currently playing the game, relaxed is what I want. Did I say hello to you today? Hi, Amira. Oh, isn't it gorgeous today? Oh no, don't say that. Why? Because every time I get excited about nice weather, Kai comes moping into my office with a cut or a knee injury. One of these days, I am going to wrap that man in protective foam. Whoa. Oh, we also didn't say hello to Kim. I'm pretty sure Kim and Amira like each other. Ah, Bruno and Lena are lucky to have family here. <coughs> I mean, yeah, I moved away from the city to get some space for my family, but I do miss them sometimes. 
I don't know that I would call Bruno lucky because his family is his son uh, and his son is the mayor and that's just unfortunate because I don't think he's actually that proud of his son. I don't think that they generally like each other very much. Banana, coconut, and a shell. And Shelby! Look at that. You know who I do see in these woods sometimes? Otto. Never after dark, of course. Yeah, because he's scared of the, the witch coven. Oh, does he sometimes go fishing with his dad? <laughs> you... <laughs> you do have a fine sense of humor, I must say. Gee... Thanks. Oh, I was gonna check whether or not. Okay, so he does sell thistles. Interesting. Thomas! Come say hi. Come say hi. Don't walk away from me. It's no good dwelling on the past, but I'm curious how different things would look if my people stayed on the island. Okay. New guy, are you around? Are you here? I guess he's not here. Look at the cute animals! Oh my gosh, I'm excited. You can get any- you can't get anything like product from stable animals, can you? I think that you can get wool from sheep and you can get milk from cows. Um, and I think that there's some implication about meat as well, based on what Kim talks about. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I know that you can get eggs from chickens. Alright. Let's get going. Clear in this area. I am excited for the chickens too. Finally. We're gonna get a coop and then we're gonna get a barn. Oh my god, but- oh! I got a- I got a cake recipe! A Persian love cake recipe! What the hell? That was in the rock! I feel like you don't need a recipe for fruit salad. Like, come on. <laughs> you know?
<laughs> Sounds like a base game food. It really does. Like, I don't know. I feel like getting a recipe for fruit salad is just like... It's bullshit raising. Cat's pajamas. Shelby! Oh my gosh! Welcome in! Thank you so much for subscribing for 32 Whoa. months. What's this? A recipe? Carrot cake. You like my my first and longest supporter, Shelby, and I appreciate it so much. And I hope that one day I can return the favor if you ever start streaming. How have you been though? I hope you're having a good morning, day, whatever time it is. This is Wildflower. It's a farming sim type game. Uh, I'm currently clearing out my yard. I'm, I've used a um, bit of an exploit to, to gain a whole heap of money because the, the mechanics of the economy were driving me a bit mental. It's 6.30 a.m. for you, so you it's like just woken up. I hope that you have a great Friday! Whatever you happen to be doing today. I think I had a pretty good Friday. I um I submitted an assignment for university, and so now I don't have another assignment until exams in June. So that's fun. I'm gonna go to the coven. But yeah, this is a farming simulator where you also are a witch. Um so you get the best of both worlds. Um, <laughs> you get a farming simulator and also witchy stuff, um, which is fun. And the I like the characters. I like the um, the relationships they have with each other. It's it's a lot of fun. I've been enjoying this game so far. I think I would recommend it. You've been up for about an hour. You're working now. Oh my gosh, that's so early. But because you've got so much work this week and next week, it's going to be a lot to. You're leaving early today. Nice. That's good. I'm glad that, like, you're leaving early. I'm so sorry that you've got so much going on, though. That sucks. I hope it eases up soon. Oh, you work from 6.30 to 2.30 normally. Okay. Well, if it's your normal shift, then that's not so bad. I'm just thinking about it personally. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so early. But I, I think that I would kind of like that because like you get finished so much earlier. Yeah. And like you actually, like things are still open. Like if you need to go to the bank, you can go to the bank because the bank is open. That's always like been the issue with nine to fives is like, when do you go to the bank? <laughs> Cast any good incantation spells lately? Uh, no. Ugh. Me either. I'm not very good at them. Potions, though. I'm a killer. These. This is my coven. Did you know that women healers were burned for being witches for centuries, even when many of them weren't witches? Strange. A woman who can heal terrifies people. I try not to think too much about what that means. Maybe this is a mirror. I thought that this was a mirror, but maybe this is a mirror. Maybe this is Lena. I, I'm trying to guess who's in the coven. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're getting to leave at, at noon today. Also, this is very obviously... So, Shelby, there's a character in this game called Shelby. Uh, except this Shelby is a um, is an old gentleman who lives in it's the woods. It's truly the cat's pajamas. Oh my gosh! Jess, thank you so much for the subscription! I appreciate it. That's so nice. Magic is more about working with chaos than trying to control it. The good news is that life's very much the same. So this is Shelby, and even though they're all wearing masks, it was immediate, like straight away, that this is this is this is Shelby, the old guy that lives in the woods. Unmistakable. <laughs> he doesn't hide it. Wait. Um, is there actually a hype train happening right now? What the hell? <laughs> I, I think that this is my first ever hype train. 
thank you <laughs> for, 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 for hydrating <laughs> that's so nice <laughs> try to not blow off any arms or legs while trying out new spells it's harder to stay in secret society that way okay i'll do my best just consider you an old man who lives in the woods we'll do we'll do Okay, I'm not changing the seasons yet. I'm just talking to the high priestess. This milkshake is the cat's whiskers. Whoa, whoa, Shelby, whoa! Holy smokes! <laughs> Thank you so much for the subscriptions. Let's see who got what. Oh my gosh, five subscriptions. That's incredible. Um, Dobby Door. I don't know who that is. I don't think that they've ever come into stream. Got one. Mama got one. That's so cool. And Olivia got one. Nice. Just looking 55. Don't know who that is, but they got one. And Johnny got one. That's so cool. You wanted the hype train. Now it's at level three. Persist in your studies with the coven and you will know one day. Thank you so much for the hype train. Oh my gosh. That's so kind. <laughs> Do it for the hype train. You guys are so sweet. I appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> I have a hype train. That's so nice. I feel like I should be doing something about it. What do people normally do when they get hype trains? I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> I deserve the snow, Shelby. Oh, you're so sweet. You deserve the subs. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. Thank you. A rave? I don't think that I'm a rave typing person. <laughs> but you, if you did stream, you would deserve the subs. And I think that I should be able to give you subs even though you don't stream. I think that that's something that I have the inherent right to, to give you, you know? I feel like I should be able to. Somehow. <laughs> I still, I'm holding out hope. I'm forever holding out hope that you're going to stream one day. I, I will, I will live and die on the, the, the hill that Shelby will stream one day. Yeah, this community is too relaxed and cozy for a rave. Even when I'm doing like dark games, I'm like, I'm, I just am not a rave person. I just like, it's very exciting and <laughs> I'm just, I'm smiling a lot. It's really nice. Cat rave. Hang on, I can do this. There we go. I'm vibrating with excitement. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you for the gifted subs, Shelby. And also for the resubscription. And thank you just for the subscription. So nice. I appreciate you guys so much. You're both wonderful. <laughs> All right. No, you. No, you. Um. So yeah, I think that maybe this is Lena. That shall be. I. I have a feeling that this is maybe Francis, the jewelry maker. Um, and maybe this is Amara and this is Violet. I feel like that that's a pretty accurate guess. Violet is the one with all the flowers on, on her mask. And then this, this one over here talked about, um, healers and Amara is the doctor. This guy over here just sounds a lot like Francis. That's what I'm basing my entire thing off of. And this, this, the high priestess just gives me Lena vibes, so. Also, um, at one point Parker did say, Parker is her husband. Parker said that she goes to her book club several times, like several nights a week. And I'm like, my guy, my guy, there's no such thing as a book club where, that meets several nights a week. <laughs> you really love how obvious Shelby is. It's fantastic. He's great. I'll have to show you his character like without the mask on because he is he's wonderful. He's such a great guy. 
<laughs> you don't know that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. If there was a book club that met multiple nights a week, I would be there. That would be like my favorite book club. <laughs> I am currently in two book clubs um, and I'm doing a uh, a course and like a, technically a uh, diploma but like only one course right now uh for a for english literature so like right now my entire world is just like about books and somehow i still feel like i'm not reading enough um hype train success oh my gosh i received emotes for that Wait, I received what? I received an emote for that. Hang on. I got this. I got this emote. Look at that! It's a little bear. That's so cute. <laughs> I didn't realize that the streamer got emotes for hype trains. That's so cool. And this is Cat, which apparently you can't rename Cat, which is annoying, but I would rename Cat. This is my cat that I adopted because she decided, well, actually, I think she adopted me. Because I was patting her, and then one day she was like, uh, I live here now. What would I name my cat? I feel like in this game, I feel like it, I would want to name it something that was like a cross between the the farming vibes and the um, uh, the witch vibes. So I would probably name name the cat something like Nightshade. You know, <laughs> that's what I, that's that's what I feel like I would do. Oh my gosh. Drink some coffee. Ignore the fact that it's 11pm and drink some coffee. But you also, like, I didn't get any say in the character design either. Like, the character came like this. And her name is Tara, which is the American version of Tara. Um... <laughs> It's really funny. I've put on uh, Australian English, so when they say uh, m "mom," it like still comes up as "mum" in the subtitles, "mum," but they're still saying it "mom" with an "o," so that's kind of fun. Yes. <laughs> that might drive you crazy. You can still, like, you can choose to have it as, like, the normal, um, American sub default subtitles. I eat some okay. Um. Okay, when this energy runs out, I'm gonna send the character to bed. Um. Are there any more tiny trees? Oh, here's a small one. Perfect. Now to bed with you. Wait. Oh, well, never mind. Can I put something on this? That's just speed grow. Okay, I need to create some of that stuff. I'm being very vague. You know that stuff? <laughs> this is my witchy room. Um, boost harvest. I need to make some of that because um, I need to be able to, I need to 
Is it time for bed? I need to make more soil. <laughs> so, the stuff, exactly, the witch stuff. <sighs> Thursday. All right, before we get started on Thursday, we are going to have a break for three minutes for the ads and also so that I can stretch my legs. So make sure you also stretch whatever you need to stretch and take a drink of whatever you need to take a drink of uh, and rest your eyes, whatever you need to do to take a break. And we'll be back in like three minutes.
Alrighty, we are back. Uh, Grandma, what's up? Have you tried out the boost harvest potion on some of your seeds yet? Yes, I have. Is that all? Really? Come on, Grandma. Oh, 15 minutes remaining. Okay. It's not ready yet. The carrots are ready, though. <laughs> she just states the obvious. Alright, I can make more soil. And I don't have that yet, so I can't do that yet. Alrighty. And I have honey. Uh, nope, 30 minutes. I'll chop down some trees, I guess. I think I'm also going to go into the mine today. Oh, I like that this area is so cleared. Oh, shoosh. Let's use the apple pie. So look at the croissant. So you know croissants, how they're like so packed with like carbs essentially, carbs and fats. Look at how much energy it gives you. Basically none. Like what a ripoff. Uh, I wonder if we would have to buy chickens for the coop or do they come with the coop? We have to, I think we have to buy the chickens separately. Chickens sold separately. Because that's why we got the rancher. Um, the rancher to move in is the guy that's going to sell us the, the animals. Croissants of uselessness. They really are. Oh my gosh, just drink some coffee late. I wish coffee actually worked like this. Alright, let's go get the growth. Not the growth, the um boost potion. What can I do here? Speed boost spell, summon small things. I don't know that that's all that useful, to be perfectly honest. Also, this like uses way too much resource. gonna be buzzing for days. 
She's vibrating off of her chair. Yeah. All right, let's go into the mine. Talk to Kitty first. Oh, such a good cat. You're such a good kitty cat. Oh, she got me cricket and a bone. Where'd you get the bone from? And Parker's here. Hi, Parker. Hey, Parker. Hey there, little miss. I don't like that. Please don't call me that. Is everything okay, Parker? You've known Lena for a long time, right? Only a little from when we were kids. But we didn't see each other for many years. Why? Oh, nothing. It's funny. Even after ten years together, it feels like there are so many things about her I don't yet understand. Well, she's part of a witch coven and you're part of a cult. Um, you know, opposites attract, I guess? Yeah, Parker is a little bit odd. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> ah. I think he's just struggling, though. Because him and Lena are going in different directions. I hope that, like, sometime soon I get to... Um, fix this. That would be great. Level 10! Hi, Shelby. Welcome back. We're doing mining now. The cat is ours, but we can't come up customize her. I'll give her a color to represent that she's ours. Nope. Not even a name. You had to do some work stuff. I mean, that is what they pay you the dollars for, isn't it? <laughs> I do think it's cool though when like um people are either working in a very casual office or are working like at home and they're able to like have people stream on in the background and stuff because that's genuinely how I work like when I'm doing like anything like personal work or like uni work I very much like I'll have like a YouTube video in on in the background or like somebody's stream up because having th that sort of like I'm all I could eat person in the background who's like also working on stuff or doing something um you know helps me to like stay focused and concentrated on my stuff it might be a neurodivergent thing um it might be a t it might be a touch of the chisel oh okay I found silver! Oh, I finally found, finally found silver. That's cool. You work from home and you love it for that same reason. Yes. You always either have a stream up or music playing or something. Exactly. Like, I feel like it's so underappreciated how well, like, that sort of stuff goes, how far that sort of stuff goes in, like, actually creating a productive environment. And, like, how stifling it can actually be if you're, like, forced to surround yourself with, like, other people that you constantly have to be aware of like and considerate of <laughs> in an office environment where like you don't actually have to be right next to each other but you're forced to just because they hired like they rented the space so they're gonna use it it's definitely a neuro spicy thing you have adhd so you have to have something else to help you concentrate okay cool <laughs> It's the neurodivergence. And the way that we're divergent is by 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 needing something in, in the background. <laughs> I oh my gosh. I am glad I am glad that she gives me the talking prompt and is like, oh I'm all out of strength. Rather than just collapsing, because I would forget every single time and she would just collapse. 
your job is only hiring for in-office going forward, which I think is so stupid, but thankfully anyone already remote can stay remote. That's good. <laughs> yeah, there's like a such a huge push now for like everybody to go back to working in office, and I'm like, why? Y'all, y'all, like, you know, had efficient workers and were making record profits, even throughout, like, a, a global pandemic. Um, the only reason that you actually want people in office is, like, to micromanage them at the end of the day. I found the keys! Huzzah! <laughs> And we're getting silver out of it, which is cool, because we, we do need some silver. Mining really does consume a lot of energy. Yeah, I have upgraded, so this is an upgraded pickaxe. But uh, to upgrade it to the next level, I need silver ore. Which is, it's why it's good that I'm finally getting it out of the rocks. <laughs> Eventually, um, the thing that I'm currently working towards is being a high school teacher and like, you know, the, the opportunities to do that remote are like basically non-existent. Uh, but that's fine. <laughs> I but ultimately, like, I find when I am... And I know that tutoring is different from teaching, but when I am tutoring, like, it doesn't drain me nearly as much as literally any other type of work. And I've tutored in, like, several different environments, like, one-on-one, -on -one, like, high school level, university level, as well as, like, at, like, a, a group level at a university where I was legitimately hired through the university to tutor for certain, for certain subjects. So, like... I feel like teaching is probably the area where my disability will hinder me the least to be fair, to be fair. I think that's why it's extra crazy to you um though that they make all your you people go to the office because your boss is literally your boss is remote and like everybody's just going into an office where there's no boss. And is the opposite of a micromanager. Oh, it's not even her choice. It's coming from her boss. So, like, higher ups. And they're probably not even in the office that, like, people are going to. That's so insane. That's, like... It's such extreme levels of, like, micromanaging from upper management. Let's start with the ones near the door, because we're probably going to find the key closer to the door than further away from the door. I don't know whether that's true, but I found it to be true more often than not. Do you use energy if you miss a spot? I don't think so. I don't think you can miss. Um, because there's like a specific um, thing that pops up and it, so it, it like targets it specifically. But I guess technically you could if you like were aiming for something and you accidentally aimed at the wrong thing. You would still hit something. It just wouldn't be the thing that you aimed for and that would use energy. But yeah, there's not really any like mini game to to hitting it. It's just you hit it. Oh, what's that? 
Oh, that's the silver. It looked blue. Yeah, it's semi-automatic. There's not a lot of, like, actual, um... Gameplay elements, I guess you would call it. Like, there's not, like, skill-based elements at all. This game is on Steam, that's where I bought it. On Steam. I think that Jess also found it on, um, Switch? Ugh, well I gotta break this rock now. Oops. Oh, I guess that's fine. Yeah. I am having fun playing it. I would I will say like it's not necessarily a perfect game. Like there are issues that I have with it. Um but for what it is, I find it pretty pleasant. Give me the key. I'm going to laugh if the key was in like one of the first ones. Oh my gosh, it was. Literally right near the door. Front door. And I was like, we'll, we'll start at the, the, the door over this side this time because that's usually where the key is. And I was just wrong about that. <coughs> Sorry for the coffin. stuff to pick up. I love to just pick up stuff. Picking up stuff like takes zero energy. Mushroom! Alright. I think that I'm pretty happy with what we mined today. You have to cough when you've got a cough. Better out than in. I don't know if that's true about coughs. I guess, I guess because like a cough is like a way for your body to try to expel something that it maybe sees as foreign or a pathogen, I guess it's better out. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Have you met the new messenger? I was never one to attend religious service growing up, but I think he's a real asset to the community. He's a real ass. That's true. I hate Cameron. <laughs> I guess we're not going to get any of the stuff that we mined um, smelted today. Uh, because uh, Natalia is not at her workshop. So that's fun. Did I put the growth boost on this? I did not. I want more, I want extra soil. <laughs> Not expecting me to hop the fence. There are some places that I can't hop the fence and then some places that I can. And the way that she does it is just like so perfect. It's actually great. I love it. Like, look at this. It's just like, Perfect hurdling. Not here, apparently. And only there. It is a pride flag. This town is very proud of um, its representation in the queer community. I asked Daddy if we could build a zip line to get from our house to the store quicker, but he said that idea was technically infeasible. Well, your dad also is part of a cult, so, um, 
you know, take his word with a grain of salt. Then he said he'll give me a piggyback ride there whenever I want it. So, I guess that's just as good. Uh, she is jumping for the Olympics. <laughs> feels weird that you can hop the fences into the kids area. I know, right? It's odd. It feels inappropriate. Mommy had me start a dream journal. She said it's a good idea to keep track of your dreams, so you can go back and reflect on them. But so far, it just feels like more homework. I think that she's possibly getting you to start the dream journal because she wants you to join the coven. Because you're a witch, because she's a witch. Do dreams mean anything? Mine keep getting weirder and weirder. Maybe you're also a witch. I think they do. I bet if you ask Shelby, he'd have some good insight for you. Oh yeah, I was gonna go show you Shelby. Have you met Kai yet? He travels off island to get stuff for his kiosk and goes surfing up and down the coast. He's totally living my dream life. Well then, when you turn 18, you can go live your dream life. Let's go, let's go into the woods and see whether Shelby's there. He might have left. Oh, there's the rancher dude. Hello? Otto tells me you're also new to Fairhaven. Did the get back to the land bug bite you too? Well, not like it bit you. I mostly came to take care of my grandmother. Hazel, right? I've heard she's a real spitfire. Why have you got egg? Had any luck with building that coop? Once you do, I'll be able to sell you some chicks. Huzzah! Oh, okay, so that's to buy chicks. Gotcha, gotcha. He's got he's got a button for picking up chicks. There's Shelby. Oh, there's Lena. This is Shelby. Shelby. Went by Lena's store to get my weekly provisions. She's your friend, right? Lena? Oh, yes. We've known each other for a long time. You should tell her not to worry herself so much over those kids. <laughs> it's a fellow Shelby. Yeah. They're good kids. Got up to worse mischief in my day. I also love that he has heterochromia. Like, two eyes of different color. It's very cool. You did? Like what? Nothing anyone could pin on me. <laughs> Ooh. Not giving, he's not giving me the goss. Hi, Lena. <laughs> Nothing anyone can pin on me. Exactly. You'll find that this is a special place. We've all got to work together to take care of it. Yeah, I think that Lena is the high priestess. That's the vibe I'm getting. Pick up the mushroom. She gives those vibes. Yeah. I was like tossing up between Lena and Amara, but Lena is like much more of a um a leader type. But Amara does also give Dom Dom vibes. And this is Violet, who I'm also fairly sure is in the coven. So, Violet, did you grow up here? Yes. My dad used to be mayor, actually. Before Mayor Soft. Yeah, we don't like Mayor Soft. Oh, I guess Otto's not your favorite person then. <laughs> Violet is great. The girl who gives tulips every time we visit. I know, she's like, she doesn't get, like, grow her own tulips. She just keeps giving us tulip seeds so that we'll grow her tulips. Her hair, her style, I'm obsessed with it. Violet is great. No, it wasn't even his fault. My dad withdrew his re-election bid before the first debate. Otto just coasted to an easy victory. I hope they run someone stronger against him this time. Can I run against him? I would like to go up for mayor. I would like to. I would like to. I would like to. So this is the mayor. Yes, we have a pride flag and that's great. But this is the mayor. I would avoid the woods after dark. Strange people have been seen there at night. I mean, so I'm told. 
Yeah, I hate him. <laughs> the mayor is a ass hat. He is. And this is Angus. Poor Angus. Angus is um, married to Francis over here. Um, except Angus is part of the cult, and I'm pretty sure Francis is part of the coven. Um, and I'm pretty sure no, they, that Angus doesn't know that Francis is part of the coven. Um, but Francis is very aware that Angus is part of a cult. So, it's complicated. Angus is flipping out because his family might not make it to the wedding. Well, I didn't even invite mine. My sister and parents won't come if I don't invite my brother. And that is not happening. You know, my dad and grandma had planned to see each other for the first time in ages at my wedding. Then it didn't happen. Because you didn't get married. But my dad decided to visit grandma anyway. And now I'm here. I get what you're trying to say. But I don't want my wedding to get hijacked by my brother's drama. Just this once, I want something that's just for me. And Angus too, of course. So, if you have like a family that has like high drama, you do too. You do too. You do one that's for you and Angus, and you do one that's for the family. You know? And you don't ever tell the family that they weren't involved in the private one. That there was even a private one. You know? Just, just for like, you know, optics. I feel like that's the best way to go about it. Did I talk to you already today? What is it like living in all that open space? What are you talking about? It's a tiny hobby farm. To tell you the truth, it is a lot of work. These people have never seen a real farm in their life. Well, what a great way to work off delicious baked goods. But yeah, Angus is a little bit um, oblivious. And this is Bruno. This is uh, Otto's father, the mayor's father. He is. We like Bruno. I don't know what I'd do if Amira left. Seems like every other thing in me breaks down as soon as she sends me home. Uh, he, I, I'm pretty sure he's like deeply ashamed of his son. This is Amira. I'm sure you're looking forward to summer, but I hope you also take time to reflect on what you've accomplished. Making big life changes is never easy. And I'm pretty sure she's one of like the, the people that stands next to the cauldron in the coven. Uh, I know for a fact that these two are not part of the coven. You gotta hit the point break off South Beach. The rocks make it a little gnarly on low tide, but at high tide, it's... Epic. Hello? Oh, I already talked to you. This is Cameron. We hate Cameron. Mrs. Soft has been so supportive since I opened my chapter here. I think she can sense the good I can do for the community. Fairhaven couldn't have a fairer first lady. He runs the cult. He is causing issues. Oh, there's Kim. Hi, Kim. Is the farm bursting with produce yet? I have a feeling this is going to be a good year for you. Nice. We like Kim. Kim is the only character I'm pretty sure that uses they, them pronouns, which is really cool. I did talk to you already. And they also run the butcher, which is really cool. And it's definitely my vibe. And if I knew Kim, in, like, if Kim was a real life person, I would definitely try to date her. I talked to both of these guys. Uh, I don't think that Kim is a part of the cult or the coven. I think Kim is just doing their own thing. I could be wrong. And this is Thomas. Thomas is also just doing his own thing. He's a Native American fella. That butcher Kim thinks I have it out for them, but I don't. Oh good Shelby, I appreciate you. I said they should hunt what they butcher, 
and they made some joke about how impractical that is. Also, like, illegal in the current system that is in place. And somehow I'm the one being disrespectful of others? Okay. <laughs> we really don't know who is a part of it, who, until the game progresses. Yeah, I think, like, we can get a pretty good idea, but we don't know for certain. Just gonna check. Oh, collect. Collect. She collects she shells by the seashore. Anything here? Nope. Fishing was a real dud. I feel like I, I'm definitely gonna do fishing again. It's just like I was trying to make a profit out of it and it was just way too slow. I was gradually making a profit, it was just so slow. That ultimately it did not feel worth it. Wrong button. Alright. I think that it's probably safe to... I don't think we can talk to Granny anymore. It's just a broom. It's not just a broom. Um, can we cook stuff? We can make noodles, we can make sushi. Ooh, flan! We can make flan! Nice. How much does flan energy give? That's, that's a decent amount of energy. Uh, should I go to bed? Yes. Not to mention most of the fish are so inexpensive to the point of only making the minimum amount per day yet. We've restored the chicken coop! <sighs> now that you have a chicken coop, you can buy a chicken from Marty! Hell yeah! We're gonna do that! To everything there is a season. But even that can be negotiated sometimes. Cool story, Grandma. I think I saw a weed out here. Alright. Oh, and a thistle. Does that plan look like it has a maggot on top or is it just you? I I think it's supposed to be, um, I don't know, desiccated coconut maybe? Something. I don't think it's supposed to look like maggots, but it does a little bit. Alright, I can't wait until I can upgrade the barn next. We've got the coop. Can I go inside the coop? <gasps> I can go inside the coop! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And there's the little coop door. Not the coop door, the, the little area door. The fence. The gate. That's what the word is, the gate. <laughs> Wonder what we can make with eggs. Um, a few things that I already have recipes for, but we might get like individual recipes for eggs when we get more eggs. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, such a pretty girl. Oh, such a. I did not mean to pat the cat again, but that's fine. Oh, soil.
Always be making soil. Let's go. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Ah! It's not even open today. It's not open again until Sunday, but maybe if I find him out and about. Hi, babies. Look, the cow smiled at me. That was so cute. That was so cute. Can't even buy a chicken yet. It's bullshit. Oh, conch. We need those. The cow was nice. Yeah, I can't wait until I can get sheep and cows. It's going to be so exciting. Hi. Oh. Hi, Tara. So what do you think? Should the canned beans go on the top shelf or the middle? Are beans eyeline worthy? Yes. Reorganizing, Lena? Well, yeah, the store has looked almost exactly the same since my grandparents ran it. But it's hard. Nostalgia, you know? No, I just figured your store out maybe split the difference. I say follow your inspiration. Listen, you can follow your own inspiration while still honoring what your family passed down to you. Yeah. Huh, you're right. I should put my own spin on things. Part of the reason I haven't wanted to change things is so my dad won't be disoriented if he comes back to Fairhaven. But he hasn't been able to leave the rest home in Milkwater for a long time, and he probably never will. Well, thanks for letting me think out loud, Tara. Apparently when you're acquaintances that have known each other since childhood. Uh, I don't know whether we can access his shop while he's walking around. I just like think that maybe because he had that egg icon. Oh, kids grow so fast. Feels like yesterday I was grabbing mayonnaise. Why am I? Oh, and wait. Oh, we heard that about mayonnaise before. No, not no new mayonnaise facts. Okay, so it is open today. It's just not open until nine. I think I'm out and about too early. Is school already started? Oh, Vanessa's here. I didn't speak to you yesterday. Sorry, Vanessa. It's nice of you to visit, but I really need to return to my lesson. Nobody's here yet. I don't know that I don't think Vanessa likes me, actually. But that's okay. I don't think I like Vanessa either, so it's fine, I guess. My wife, Vanessa, is an amazing teacher and first lady of Fairhaven. She's too good for me. Maybe you should let her leave you then. <laughs> I'm kidding. Why? Have you heard anyone say that? I'm saying it right now. Do dreams mean anything? I'd... Hi, Violet. Bees never sting without a reason. Did you know that? Something to keep in mind. Oh, you guys are here. The older kids always pull out their phones as soon as school's over. I'm like, hello, you're ignoring a perfectly good swing set. Whoa. You say the older kids as if there are more than two of them. There's like four of you total. Hey, if you have any extra wood lying around, I'll take it off your hands. I'm building a wicked skate ramp. Okay. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Mrs. Solve is gonna... <laughs> yeah, you told me about that the other day. 
She makes it seem like there's a classroom full of people. I know, right? All right, what do I need? What do I need for the vegetable patch? Oh my gosh, I need so much more soil. I might need to make more compost bins. Uh, this is iron. All right, so I gotta go to Natalie. Oh, I'll talk to you as well though, Parker. Sorry. We needed this rain. Okay, never mind. Parker had nothing interesting to say. I regret talking to Parker. Oh, he's in here. Hello. Mr. Rancher dude. No, can't can't business him. Say, the wild farm's on a gorgeous plot of land. How long's it been in the family? Oh, we've had it for, uh... Huh. I'm just realizing I don't know. Long story, but there was a family falling out. I'm still learning a ton about this place. Well, that farmhouse is a stunner. Great bones. Thanks. Remember to eat. Ideally, something delicious. Okay. But I'm running out of things to talk to me about. Oh. Sorry, I'm just tired. I didn't sleep much last night. Um, should you be at work then? Maybe you should go home and get some rest. Oh, I don't sleep much any night. Can't turn off my brain. I'm getting used to being a semi-zombie most days. That's not great, Francis. <laughs> The same dialogue, yeah. Some of the dialogue repeats. Kai is such a flirt. Luckily, by the time I moved here, I knew not to take guys too seriously. I can craft some silver and copper. I need more silver to upgrade to the silver pickaxe. Same with the axe. I know I have enough for the watering can. I don't really think I needed the watering can, but might as well get it. So exactly how much soil do I need? 50 and I have 20. Okay, I have an idea. Are these ready yet? Oh, they're ready! Huzzah! Okay, I think I get back money when I destroy them.
I don't know whether I can use all of these. Let's find out. So if you make more compost bins, does that mean you have to sacrifice some of my plant space? Yeah, basically. Um, but my ultimate plan is that because this is going to be the actual farm area and um, this is going to be more of a um, garden area. So this is where I'm going to have flowers and such. I should buy more coffee. <laughs> I got a new recipe. And a whole bunch of rocks. I could eat. This just means I won't have to do this later. I'm preparing. Lobster roll. Cool beans. It's been cleared. Huzzah. Did I talk you to you today, Thomas? I can't even remember. 
Plants will always tell you what they need. My grandmother said they'd sing to her, and I believe it. That's sweet. Look at the cute animals. Oh my gosh. I love them. Is the diner open today? I can't remember how good it is. Oh my gosh, everybody's there. Juliet asked me to teach her some of my Nana's dishes. I was so excited. I rushed over to Lena's to get what I need before she changes her mind. <laughs> All right, let's grab some coffee. I talk to you, Cameron. Natalia told me you repaired the mine. How wonderful. Hopefully soon we can make some new medals for our ceremonies. Gross. She's about to level up to silver. Gross. <laughs> hey, Tara. You're always welcome to sit with me. Good food is meant to be shared with good people. The place I came from before this was much bigger. It takes some getting used to. They missed out where they said to. But that's fine, I guess. This stall couldn't be in a better location. If I ever need a break, Sophia's is right there. <laughs> what are you selling today, by the way? Ooh. Pineapple. What the hell is that? Mushroom lava? That's hilarious. I don't really want orange seedling or pineapple. Alrighty, looks like we have an ad break coming up. Wonder whether there is a way that I can get to up water. Maybe that's later in the game. Anyway, we have an ad break. So we will be back after about three minutes.
Alrighty, we are back. Um, I don't remember what my plan was for the day. I forget what you sell other than like flowers. Okay. Ooh, snow sh snowdrop seeds. Okay. Marigold. I wonder whether these are like summer and autumn and winter. That seems right. But yeah, Kai sells um, odd knickknacks. Knickknacks and bric-a-brac. So we have to like wait two days to get chicks. That's some bullshit. 
Oh, hello. I find the peace of the woods provides great inspiration for my magic. Um, I don't think you're supposed to tell me that you're part of the coven yet. She just literally outed herself as part of the coven. <laughs> like, <laughs> not even hiding, not even pretending. I shall be. Parker keeps offering to build me a house in town. I know, he's just trying to be kind. Your house is incredible and also is not really that far away from town. It's like a five second walk. Like, seriously. But I like being out here with my little woodland friends. They're plenty good company. Also, your house is so nice, Shelby. Oh my gosh. Look at look at this. I would I would die to live here. This is incredible. Plus, have you been in town? None of our houses have bathrooms. So there's that. I don't know where everybody goes to the toilet in this game. Whoa. Looks like you've already cleared some space so I can start as soon as you give me the go ahead and the funds and the soils. Wonder how long it will take me to get the soils. Okay. At least tomorrow. I am enjoying the game. Ooh, a metal working table. Oh, I could make metal jewelry if I got that. That's cool. A juice press. That seems useful. Ooh. Oh, I need more clay for that one. I don't have soy milk, I don't have animal fat, so I can't make the tallow candle, I can't make the soy candle, but I can make the beeswax candle. Oh. Oh, I can make carrot juice, that's cool. Let's make a couple of sheets of paper, just so that we have paper on hand. Okay, I have all the things so far there, so if I can't really do anything there. Did I speak to you today, Granny? I did. Okay. I guess there's not much I can do today. Can I let's see let's see what I need to make that carrot cake actually. 
Ooh, love sorrel. Need a lot for that. What is that, parsley? Parsley, butter, bread, and lobster. Funny about needing a lobster for a lobster roll. Carrot cake. Okay. Oh, we need cheese. Uh, and walnut. Just one. One walnut. It does look like a good cake. We need fruit for the fruit salad. Ooh, what's this one? Persian love cake. We need almond and rose water and saffron. But not flour, apparently. Just very obscure ingredients. Okay, banana smoothie. I need milk for that. Berry smoothie. I need berries for that. Need milk. Okay, a lot of these I need milk. Oh, fruit punch. We need fruit for that. Alright. I don't think there's much I can do in this today unless I want to drink coffee and go to the mines, which I do not feel like I would like to do. So I'm going to just go to bed early. Ready for bed? Yes, we're going to bed early. Hopefully I don't get a letter from the coven being like, hey, you haven't done your coven duties recently. <laughs> hey, Grandma. You don't need to hover over me. Why don't you head into town for a change of scenery? Meet some people. Grandma's like, let me die in peace. Oh my gosh, three hours. One, two, three, four. So eight. I'll get eight. There still won't be enough. Oh my gosh. Little trees. They're growing. A lot of ingredients require you to be in the other seasons. So I'm assuming berries, um, for instant, would be a summer or fall thing. Yeah, uh, berries are a summer thing. From what I can tell. Uh, sheesh. Hi, kitty. Oh. That one's ready. These guys still require another hour. Jeez, yeah, okay. It's gonna take a while to get the soil I need. Just frustrating. Put a boost one in this one. Hopefully that will help. <laughs> Go down to the mines for a little bit. Nope, oh, 12. <laughs> <laughs> It is a little bit frustrating. I do also need more clay, so I'll dig up some clay while I'm here. Hmm. <laughs> 
Hi ho, hi ho. Oh, can't walk on that. I don't know how many levels the mine have has um initially it only was showing 10 but now it's showing like 15 so i don't know a mysterious number of of levels the mine has i'm sure i could just google it but i haven't Key to the next level. Key to the next level. A shoosh. <laughs> You're gonna Google for me, are you? Twenty, okay. It seems like the first five like the first five are like iron in terms of um the 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 new thing. Like the sort of um main thing you get, and then the next five are copper. And then this five are silver, and I'm gonna guess that the last five are gold. In terms of like the the resource that you get from them. Because that's the pattern I've seen so far. Like it was we didn't get copper until um level six. And we did not get silver until level 10. I assume like the, the deeper levels will also have different gemstones. Because so far, I think all I've found is amethyst. Oh no, that was on the beach. I found a pearl. Yeah, in in the mines, I've only found amethyst. So I figure that once it sort of um gets deeper, there might be different gems already, and I just haven't cracked enough gem ones to know because I'm focusing on the ore you can access levels after you've been in them unless the game doesn't care yeah yeah um so you can access any level once you've already been in it which is great it's not it, like that's this is the one thing where it's like it's a little bit better than stardew in my opinion 
uh, with the mines because there's not like specific levels that you like that are checkmark levels that you can go back to. It's like any level. You can just go back to any level you want. Yeah. It'll refresh, so like um if you were close to finding the key when you left, you will have to basically start fresh. I think it randomizes. Um but uh if you've already unlocked the door, you can go to the next level. Sometimes these gemstone ones really don't give you anything good. Oh, I found the key. I also found a sapphire? Yeah, sapphire. And there's apparently another gem down here. At this level, that I have not found yet. But that's okay. I, I think that I'm going to eventually come back to find the gems. I'm sort of more interested in just unlocking all the levels at this stage than completing. Oh! Hi, Tara. Don't think I've seen you this far into the mine before. This is my first time. How far down does this place go? <laughs> oh, we were just we were just discussing that. Oh, who knows? I'd go deeper in myself, but the door to the next level down is locked. All of them have been locked, Natalia. All of them. There's a kooky note hanging there. Oh. I can't figure out who left it though. It's a puzzle. Does every part of this town come with a ready-made mystery? <laughs> oh, sure seems that way. Anyway, I heard that when the mine was still in operation, the miners found gems on the lower levels. Make it through that door and you could strike it rich. Or source gems for Francis. Good luck. Thanks. Let's have a look at the note on this door. Oh my gosh, where is the door? Where is the door? Fancy door. There's a note on it. Cutscene is irrelevant. Natalia doesn't even step foot in the mine. She just stares at the entrance. I know, right? I have the key to this door. I will return it when the time is right. Anonymous. Okay, so we literally can't go further right now. This is as far as we're allowed. It's locked tight. So at this stage of the game, we have like maxed out the levels of mines that we can go in. Alright, let's check on our soil. <laughs> okay, I have 35 soil. don't have enough weeds for 
the soil here. It really sucks because the soil that I'm going to give to Parker for this area, I'm not even going to be able to use. Because I can't plant directly into the ground. It's legitimately bullshit. Some of the mechanics of this game. It's like, why do I need a separate, like, soily patch to put my planters on, which then I need more soil for? It's, it's ludicrous. I tell you, ludicrous. I talked to you already today. Hey. Still here, Wash Ashore? I sure am. Did you call me Wash Ashore, like, because I've washed ashore? Better mind the ebb tide. Okay. It reminds you of the graveyard keeper. The, um, the mine comes to a halt and you have to do tasks to open the, the door to new levels. That's why you like Stardew in that sense. You can farm resources for 120 in the base mine and over 100 in the skull mines. Wow. Juliet asked me to teach her some of my Nana's di- You've already said that to me before. A conch. Two conch. Oh, lucky day, we got two conches. Hi, Juliet. Sometimes I feel like I can hear my dad singing. What does it sound like? I don't know. Like a lullaby, I guess. Cute. That's adorable. Oh my gosh, look at his little run. Look at him go. Run off to you do your mailly business. Go on. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if a mirror left. Seems like every other thing in and you said that the other day. Thomas gets a bad rap for being kind of anti-social, but he's cool. He never minds if I cut through his place on my way to the beach. I love having a job that lets me enjoy my day. I've always been such a night owl anyway. I don't think that I would be able to enjoy my day if I was working of an evening, because I would just be stressed out about the fact that I was going to be working in the evening. I'm gonna need to get a second piggy bank. All my savings don't fit in my first one anymore. Tragedy. Oh, Kim's in here. My parents always pushed for me to be the best in everything. It's hard not to feel inadequate, but I'd rather stay happy. Yeah. Holt vibes, too. You mean Damon? I don't think so. I think Damon is just one of those ones that's not involved in either side. This shop has been in my family for five generations. Well, maybe longer if you count my ancestor Helga Dahl's shop that stood on this spot. It burned down in the Great Fairhaven Fire of 1817. Oh no, that sounds terrible. Was Helga okay? Oh yes, she was acquitted. <laughs> that's not what I... The constable thought she started it, but he had no proof, did he? That's hilarious. Oh, I was gonna... Do you have milk? Do you sell milk? You don't sell milk. Where do I get milk from? Oh, 
We got access to oats and spinach, but not milk. That's, I guess, in the next lot that I get to unlock. Oh, I only have cells. No. I have less of those than I thought I did. Let's sell some potatoes. Why do I have so many eggs? I don't remember buying eggs. Okay, now we can buy milk. Oh, right, because some villages aren't a part of either. It's really confusing. Yeah, it's not a not an all-consuming thing. It's just sort of there's the cold, and then there's the secret coven, and some of them are just people living their lives. Like I'm, Bruno is just a guy living his life. He's not a part of the coven, and he's also not a part of the cult. Are you okay? I would avoid the woods after dark. I mean, I don't like you. I'm walking away now. Like a bystander of not vouching for anything. Yeah, kind of. Hi. Does Shelby ever just mumble at you? I can never tell if he's striking up a conversation or talking to himself. He could be striking up a conversation with himself. Um, one short. I can't upgrade my pickaxe yet. Or my, my, my normal axe. One of these days. We're casual friends. I can't remember why I bought milk. I remember that I wanted it for something. Let's make some of that. Uh, I could make these things. How much more of an energy boost does this give me? No more than actual coffee. Okay. How much does banana smoothie give me? A decent amount. That's not bad. <laughs> not quite as economical as coffee. I might go buy some more coffees. Just so that I have them. I like to have them. Because I forget when... Um... Oh wait, is... are they closed today? I think they might be closed today. What days are they closed? Yeah, they're closed today. Close Saturday, but open tomorrow. Okay, that's okay. I'll just buy some tomorrow. And when are you open again? Not open tomorrow. Uh, you're open Monday. So Monday is when I... I'm going to speed up the time a little. Because I should go to a coven meeting so I don't get in trouble with the coven. So, what did you do before you switched up careers? I was, um, a consultant. Did a lot of consulting. And then I got hit with that consultant burnout. What? You know how it goes. What? I do not. I d I've never heard of consultant burnout. Oh. 
let's chop some trees down here. Oh, Parker, what are you doing? Hi, Parker. Chopping down some wood? No. I've been coming by the woods every so often to see if my favorite flowering tree has bloomed yet. Which tree is that? When I was a kid in the city, there was only one tree on our block in front of my neighbor Miss Lovitz's house. It used to bloom pink petals once a year. It was like a miracle on that drab block. I gotta say, I don't miss that concrete jungle at all. I'm gonna say, I, I used to dream of grandma's farm. I can relate. I feel like when I was a kid, I used to dream all year of getting to come to grandma's farm in the summer. <laughs> you were a lucky kid to get that break in nature. I've only ever heard good things about your grandpa, too. I bet it was nice having that time with him. I went back home one winter, and Miss Lovitz's house was gone and replaced by a new condo building. Woof. They took the tree out, too. Jeez. See, in winter, it didn't look like much, just some spindly branches. But nothing can be in full bloom all the time, can it? Otherwise, you wouldn't appreciate it. I guess that's true. Take it easy, Tara. My casual friends. I got some things to collect. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Ah, it's almost time for summer. I know, I know, I'm working on it. What was that you said? Uh, uh, nothing. We all know Shelby's part of the, the coven. You don't need to hide it from him. <laughs> Deforestation. Ruining the park for everyone. Yes. All right, these will bloom in a second, and then I can pick them again. You can never do too much wood. You can never have too much wood, exactly. Back to relax mode. Is all the secrecy? <laughs> <laughs> Is the coven the reason people seem to be afraid of these woods? Who's afraid? It's not the woods that will do them harm. People do a fine job creating their own troubles. Okay. As we all find our way, I find it ever more important to take a moment to breathe and show gratitude when you can. Yup. Watch out for the journeyman. You're new and don't know better than to stay out of his schemes. <laughs> I got a letter from an institute focused on herb lore. They want to recruit me. I love potions, but I'm not sure if that's the right move for me. I can't believe magic schools are actually a thing. Girl, they've been around for ages. They're also crazy expensive, so it's like, probably not a real option. <laughs> Alrighty. Should I put something in the pot? I'm not really low on magic energy, so I probably shouldn't put something in the pot.
I hope I get some more weeds so I can grow, I can make some more soil because the lack of soil is a big um, factor that's preventing me from moving forward now. I need weeds. Whoops. I walked too close. Hi, kitty. Oh, such a good cat. Cool. Okay. What's up? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so I'll be short ten, ten soil still. Should I go to bed? <sighs> ah, more weeds! Thank goodness. <sighs> Grandma, have you been keeping an eye on the time? It can get away from you if you're not careful. Not in relaxed mood. Oh my gosh, five hours remaining. Okay. <laughs> Let's pick these weeds. Weed, weed. Well, the kitty's over there now. Hi, kitty. As far as I can do, I think that I did see somewhere that you can pass out in this game, but as far as I can tell, you don't. I think it's if you stay up, like, past a certain time. Hey there, kitty. Nope. Oh. Let's give you some milk. Aww, you're still loving that, aren't ya? Found milk is one of the cat's favorite foods. Yeah, you get like a little warning thing being like, you're too tired, you should go to bed. At like 11.30 or 12, I think. Alright, we'll be able to make a little bit more soil. Oh my gosh. He opens at 9. So let's... Change it to normal. Just like Stardew when it's 12 a.m. and your character's having Z's and the speech bubble above the head. <laughs> it's just like that. Hi, Juliet. I babysit the Johnson twins sometimes. I don't even know where their mom goes. It's not like there's anything to do around here. She's part of a multiple meetings a week book club. That's where she goes. Hello. Hey, Bruno. Trying to catch anything in particular today? How'd you know? I'm angling for a few flounder. 
Fried flounder makes the best fish sandwich. It was my Helena's favorite lunch. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I hope you catch the perfect flounder then. This is the best flounder spot on the island, so my chances are good. When I'm feeling a bit lonesome, I rustle up my own fish to make this sandwich. Reminds me of when Otto was a boy and Helena was still here. And life was just the three of us. So you're Bearhaven born and raised? Raised, yes, but I was born in Dresden. My dad fled Germany when I was real little. Do you remember Germany? Uh, all I remember is my dad telling me what his life used to be like before the bombing. That was what took my ma. Woof. I always thought Fairhaven was my only home. But now that Otto's all I have and he hardly has time for me, maybe nowhere is my home these days. Fairhaven is still your home, Bruno. <laughs> even if Otto is distracted. I haven't been here long, but even I know your fishing shack is an island institution. Well, I am real proud of that. Thanks for the kind words, Tara. I sure am glad you're here. Hooray, we're casual friends. I have no idea if there are seasonal events in this game. I haven't come across any events yet. That's not to say that there isn't, I just haven't come across any yet. Alright, we can change it back to uh, relax mode because it's hit nine. Shell. Hi, Francis. I comb the beach sometimes looking for pearls. I just layer on SPF until I look like a clown. <laughs> a clown with a deep love of Italian tailoring. Good luck. I found one once, and then when I tried to sell it to you, you tried to rip me off, so... Um... <laughs> Monday to Wednesday and Sunday. Dad gave us some wood from a shop to make a lemonade stand, but we still need lemons <laughs> and water and sugar. Whoa. Can I buy chicks? Are you here to buy your first chick? Yes, if they're still available. Oh, they sure are. Uh, I wouldn't mind someone taking a few of them off my hands. I mean, they're cute the first few days after hatching, but uh, once they really get to pooping... Are you <laughs> trying to make me change my mind? No! Sorry! <laughs> Just running my mouth. Oh, I can buy a sheep and cow. A coop animal. Needs to be fed every day. Just like you asked for. A single chick. <laughs> oh, no. I shouldn't say that, should I? That's offensive. Uh, here is one young chicken. I think it's fine in this context. Now, what would you like to call her? <gasps> we get to name her. Oh. We don't get to name her anything specific. It's like uh, a lot of pre-selected names. I like nuggets. I like nuggets. I'm gonna go with nuggets. Nuggets. The awkward silence. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I was thinking. <sighs> I also brought you some feed, free of charge. You fixed up my ranch after all. This is the least I could do. That's very kind of you. Uh, remember, you have to feed your animals every day. They're just like us, turns out. If you take good care of this chick, she'll eventually turn into a laying hen. Omelets for breakfast every day. <laughs> oh, and uh, once you've gotten a handle on chickens, I can sell you cows, too. But for that, you better get Parker to build you a barn. Hell Here's yeah. Hell yeah. Stop by my ranch if you want to buy animals or some feed for them. Oh, I got a butter chan as well. Hello, little chick. Oh, I can feed you. 
Oh my gosh. I need to buy another one immediately. Make sure to follow my pigs to twit account. I post animal photos every day. He's gonna become a pigs to twit influencer, huh? No, no, no. I'm just trying to share my love for my cute little buddies. Oh, I could sell nuggets. I'm not gonna sell nuggets. Sorry, I can't sell you a lamb if you don't have a barn to house it in. And that makes milk requires hay every day let's buy another one here is your animal now what would you like to call it all right second one egg butts okay Let's go Egbert. Oh no, Layla. I like Layla because it's laying eggs. It sucks that you can't customize the name. I know, it's it's annoying. Layla I kind of like because it's you're laying eggs. Layla. That's definitely a name. Here's some feed. Oh, are you okay? Okay, she's fine. Oh, and little pats for the little chicken. All right. And let's get some food. I wish that I could see like what I need for that for the um what's it called the barn but I'm pretty sure Parker is closed today two hours remaining let's go check whether Parker is actually closed He is. Monday to Friday. Alright. I think that we need to cut some wood. So we'll go in here to cut some wood. Um, but we do have an ad break coming. So we are going to go on an ad break. Um.
We will be back in about three minutes. Make sure to take a break, stretch your arms, legs, whatever needs stretching. Get a drink, get a snack. We'll be back soon. Alright, we are back. Um, I was gonna go get more coffee as well. had a favorite dish i mean there's the classics but whenever i nail a new recipe that becomes my favorite <laughs> nice oh i can buy, buy soy milk yeah. interesting
Nobody bats an eyelid when I order 20 coffees. I love having a job that lets me enjoy my day. I've always been such a night owl anyway. Hi, Emmy. When I told Kim I like comic books, they gave me one from Japan. It's called manga. Ooh, how are you liking it? Well, it's different from the comic books I'm used to. I was accidentally looking at it backwards until Kim showed me the right way. I haven't gotten very far yet, but I'm excited to read more. Cute. Kim, I love your boots. Oh, thanks. I've had these old stompers forever. I stole them from my big brother. <laughs> nice. Hi, Julia. I already talked to you today, and I am so sorry for interrupting you. Have I told you about the time I nearly sliced my foot off in the water? Oh, I pulled into a barrel, and my board whacked me upside the head. Jeez. Next thing you know, my foot's caught on coral, and I'm fighting to come up for air. Jesus. Yeah, I love how he just stops there as well. He's like, I, I, I had a near-death experience. Like, you know, here's what it was. And then just stops. I was fighting to come up for air. Like, he doesn't say, thank God, like, you know, so-and-so was there to rescue me or whatever. He's just like, yeah, I almost died. Anyway. I'm all I could. Deforestation is sweeping the nation. A very abrupt cliffhanger, I know, right? Oh my gosh. My character, um, her, her name is, uh, Tara, but I think that maybe her real name is Lorelei Gilmore because of her coffee addiction. Because apparently she can't function without coffee. Because she just has no energy otherwise. <laughs> Gosh. Yes. Did I talk to you already today? People watching has taught me a lot as a doctor. Okay. Bye. What do I have now? Not enough. Oh, finally. Finally.
It's a shame Hazel gave up raising chickens. I miss having those farm fresh eggs every morning. Well, I have new chickens now, so... It's a shame no longer. I'm an absolute menace to society. I have no regrets. Finally. I'm gonna have to go buy more coffee. I don't think I can cut this one down. <laughs> I have cleared the forest. There are no trees no more. I'm a menace. Absolute obliteration. I'm gonna get some coffee so we can go down to the mines. Oh, Parker. Oh. We needed this rain. Okay. He really says nothing sometimes. Yes, I've, I've done a deforestation. I um, am an environmental terrorist. Are you open tomorrow? What day is it? Sunday. Yeah. Okay, places will be open tomorrow. How many day? Oh, hello. We got 40 soil. So I need 10 more to build the um, garden bed. There's five days of that remaining. I feel like I want to speed this up. Uh, uh, cancel. No. Speed it up. Miracle grow. Oh, wow. Okay, now I just have a pomegranate tree, I guess. Kai's hair is always perfect. He's given me some great tips, but these girls just won't be tamed. Okay. All right.
Yeah, the co it, there, there is something that can give you a speed boost, but like I haven't tried it yet. It's a it's a magic spell. Hmm. Um. How do I check the, the progress of the, the, the mine? Oops. Aha! It's a topaz. Okay, I found everything in level 14. Alrighty. I want to go around and find all the collectible things that I don't actually have to spend money on. Not money. Energy. Oh, there's a rock there. Free rock! Free rock. Go through and figure out exactly what I'm missing on each level of the mine. Don't know what I'm missing on level 7. The clay? No. Sand? No. Okay. I should check on how much energy the noodles give me. I bet it's like nothing. I have so much stone.
Okay, what on earth is it that I'm missing? I'm going to be so annoyed if it's like literally nothing. I, I'm not finding anything. <laughs> I literally have destroyed everything. And... It's like, somehow I still haven't completed this level. I'm confused. I know, we're on level 7, but like, see, there's like, you get stars when you've completed um, all the aspects of it. I don't know how to... There's like a way to check exactly what is like left in the mine. But, oh. I have, I have picked it clean. I don't know. Is this a glitch? See, I'll show you what I mean. See, all of the stars are ones where I found every, like, component. And the ones that aren't stars are the ones where, like, I still haven't found something that that level has to offer. So there's something that I'm missing in level 7. I found- I just found everything in level 14 and I was gonna just go back through and do everything, but, like, level 7 has confused me now. Yeah, when I've collected everything on that level. Not like everything, everything, but as in like every, like unique component. So I'm not quite sure what's up with Seven. Because that's not what happened with Seven. Hi chickadees, how you doing? Hi Layla. Hi Nugget. Alright. Tomorrow we can go to Parker and be like, hey dude. What do I need to make a barn? Have I spoken to Granny today? I have. Apparently. Am I ready for bed? Yes, apparently I can't read oh. Grandma's journal though. It's most likely a glitch. <sighs> Monday! Monday! Hi, Grandma. Have you been keeping an eye on the time? It can get away from you. If you're not careful... Do I have any weeds? It would be wonderful if I had weeds. Some shoosh. 
a weed. Oh, just one though. Heck. Honey is ready. I'm also going to... I know that the bees won't like this. But I am going to be planting summer flowers in the summer. So... Hi, kitty. Aww, who's a good kitty? Oh, cat got me a fish. That's nice. Bit of roll reversal. Amara. Amira. It's nice that you're here. I wish all of my patients had cute and charming relatives come visit. Uh. Run, Krabby, run. Squish. I don't know where Thomas is, but he's not there. Hi, Kai. Hey, Kai. What's wrong? I wish I'd picked up those bananas so they weren't in the cutscene. I got worked over by this clothes out of my leash snap. I just don't get why the wave didn't bring my board in, though. Oh, no, is it? It is lost to the ocean. It was new and it's so hard to get longboards shipped here. So what are you doing on the beach? Collecting seashells or something? Yes, what's your problem? Let's go fishing. I was just about to cast a line actually. Hoping to catch some dinner. Bra, can you just make sure to take your hooks with you? If I had a penny for every time I've been snagged by one of those things, I would have like a lot of pennies, you know. <sighs> Sorry if I was a grouch. I'm just super bummed about my board. It's all right. I understand. Let me buy you a beer to make up for it, okay? Yeah, sure. Does he actually get to buy... Do, will he actually make good on that? Francis, hi. Looking for pearls, Francis? Not today. I'm looking for coconuts to make some tembleque. It's like flan, but with more coconut milk and cinnamon. If you get the consistency just right, it's so good. I want one. I don't even like coconut and I want one. Damon. You should check out Sophia's diner. Yeah, because I've never heard of that place before. Oh, is it good? Yeah, her chow is solid. And she'll serve you breakfast anytime, even if you don't get up until noon. Except it's 8.30, so. Oh, we're good friends with Damon. I did not know that. Oh, hi, Kim. The place I came from before this was much bigger. It takes some getting used to. I don't know how we became good friends with Damon, but we're good friends with Damon. Remember when we used to run a lemonade stand in town and then spend our earnings on ice cream? 
Yes. Whatever happened to that old ice cream parlor? Oh, the owner retired ages ago. Truth is, it's hard to run a business year round here. If you find your grandma's recipe book, I'd love a quick peek. <laughs> Parker. Nope, kids are in school. <sighs> I wish we had lockers instead of cubbies. It would be so much easier to hide my pranking stuff that way. When I grew up, I hope I can braid my hair like my mom. Do you know her? She runs the general store. No, I've never met her in my life. Yes, I know Lena. I'm sure she can teach you how to do braids. She tries, but my fingers get all crossed up and tired all the time. My mom just has this way of making hard things look easy, you know? Yep, it's cool to practice. You came here from the city? That's where I'm going the minute I turn 18. I can't wait. Sometimes I feel like I can hear my dad singing. What does it sound like? I don't know. Like a lullaby, I guess. Parker. Hey, Parker. Hey there, little miss. Is everything okay, Parker? You've known Lena for a long time, right? Only a little from when we were kids. Oh, nothing. It's funny. Even after 10 years together, it feels like there are so many things about her I don't yet understand. Anyway, about the bomb. Ooh. I need 60 iron ingots. I think I might be able to do that. Alright, hang on. It's, um... Natalia open today? If she's not, then I can't do it. But if she is... Looks like she is. Natalia. Listen. You know, a girl's gotta learn to rely on herself. That's what swinging the hammer has taught me. Ever thought of picking one up? <laughs> me? Oh no, nope, no, no, no. Definitely not. I legitimately did think she was just gonna stop at swinging. That's what swinging has taught me. <laughs> well, you let me know when you're ready to give it a go. Iron. All right. Oh, hi. I would avoid the woods after dark. Strange people have been there. I mean, I don't really care. Ooh. One of my patients is insisting on moonflower teas. Hi, Angus. What is it like living in all that open space? To tell you the well, what a not not really open space, but okay. I think that I forgot to say hello to Vanessa. Walked in, talked to all the school kids, and didn't say hi to Vanessa. It's very rude of me. It's nice of you to visit. Okay, she doesn't want me to say hi to her. Parker. We have a bun. Okay, I'll have plenty of wood still. Oh wait, I still don't have enough iron. Oh my gosh. I need more iron. I need to go back to the mines to get more iron.
Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Am I going for coffee? I'm good for coffee. Back to the mines. Listen, I, I need I need to make the barn and the vegetable patch before I convert to spring to, to summer. And I am determined to convert to summer before the end of the stream. So there's plans. There's plans. There's plans. Uh, let's go to eleven. I hope that there's not too much copper here. Doesn't seem like copper. Oh, there's iron. Okay, so there is iron here, so that's fine. I think I drank more than I meant to. I think I drank an extra one. Because I pressed it too quickly. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hey ho, hey ho. Oh my gosh, why did that bit fly all the way over there? Yeah, this is another grey level. That's part of why I chose it. I want to try to find all the things. Hopefully it will not disappoint me again.
Oh, I found a topaz. Yeah, man. I think that they just need to find a sapphire. Don't do this to me! I hate that these, like, sometimes just give rock to ankle. Like, I hate that. No. No. I feel like if, if you break every rock on the level, you should be able to find every unique item that the level has. Like, that's... Ridiculous. Uh, well, hopefully that's enough iron, at least. How much iron did I actually get? 17? Hopefully that's enough. It's not a whole lot. Let's see, let's check if that's enough. Bum 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 bum! It's enough! Okay. I'll get started fixing up that old barn right away. Should only take a day or so. Huzzah! He's gonna go do the barn! And then we can have other animals! Huzzah! I think that I need to feed the chicks. I think that I forgot to feed my chickens. There you go, Layla. Good, Layla. What can I gift a chicken? I can't even see nuggets. There we go. Nuggets! What can I gift you? You want cauliflower? No. She didn't particularly like cauliflower. They are the cutest. Oh. I don't have any weeds left. There's nothing around here, I don't think. Oh. 
a rock. No weeds. All right, let's go check the woods. Also, we are like starting to deplete our money <laughs> pretty significantly, so we might need to um, do a couple more fish stick uh, deposits. Are there any weeds around here? Wood. Little tree. I should probably wait a couple of days for the trees to actually grow back properly. I absolutely decimated this area. I bet Shelby's ashamed of me. You're from the city, huh? Terrible smells, people, noises. Oh, you've been there? <laughs> In a past life. I'll never leave the forest again. I relate to this guy. Hey. Maybe I ought to take a vacation. I don't know where I'd go, though. To sea! Go to sea! On a beautiful pea green boat. Oh, do you sell weeds, Shelby? Maybe Shelby sells weeds. Maybe I can buy weed off of Shelby. That does not sound appropriate, but... You understand? No, Shelby does not sell weeds. Disappointing. The fact that you can't just like buy set like most things is in like a replacement form is frustrating. Cause like you can't buy weeds anywhere and you can't buy like um soil anywhere either. I talked to both of you two today. I love how they're hanging out in the dead shop even though the dead is not there. Tuesday. Your open Tuesday. Your open Tuesday. So tomorrow is the perfect day to do the strategic. The strategic attack. And by strategic attack, I mean um, the um, selling of the fish sticks. I talked to you, didn't I? We had like a moment about your surfboard. I don't think I've spoken to Thomas today. Is he about? I haven't seen him. I have not seen him. Maybe he doesn't want to talk to me. Hi. Do you have any family back in the city, Marty? Not anymore. I used to work with my dad, but he moved. We're, uh, we're not really in touch these days. I'm really sorry. <laughs> that was how it was for Hazel and my dad for a long time. 
that cow just strutting through the the beside us as we're having like a a personal discussion it was really funny i can't wait to get sheep and cows look at them they're so cute i also can't wait for the chickens to grow up i wonder how long it will take them and whether they'll be different colors that'll be cool I talked to you, didn't I? Yeah, we had a talk. There's Thomas. Everyone goes on about how wise Shelby is, but his life story is what really interests me. They might produce different colored eggs. He's told you about his life before Fairhaven? All the time. You just have to ask him the right questions. Alright. Let's go back and hang out at the bar for a little bit. Just in case there's like a cutscene. Because I haven't been into the the bar location in a while. I actually don't know whether it's open today. If it's not open today then this is not going to work. Maybe it's not open today. No it's open today. It's just not open for another hour. So let's go to challenge mode. And wait for a second. <laughs> Alright, here come people to the bar. Apple martini, beer, or vodka. Jeez. I can sell wine. Oh, slap chips. I can't buy them. They're not there. Okay, I thought that maybe something would happen, but nothing's happened. I already talked to you today. I want to check on the coven so that they don't get antsy about me. Because they do tend to do that sometimes. Hi Bruno. You probably want to get out of here because it'll freak you out if you see the coven people. I'm early. Oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we have to meet at night to keep the coven secret from the townsfolk. But make sure you get your sleep. Tired witches just brew up trouble and not the good kind. That's fun. Our ways must seem foolish and secretive to one who has not grown up in the coven. A little. We must wear disguises, we must meet in secret, and we must be careful of who we let into our order. To fail in these duties is to invite scrutiny from others. Fear is dangerous and in the wrong hands, a weapon. It has always been this way. 
Yeah. And we know that because it's always been this way is the best way to reason to keep it away. What kind of a witch will you be? A good witch? There are no good witches or bad witches. Only good or bad actions. Don't go near the standing stones. Our coven has kind of a bad history with them. Then why do we meet near them? Alright, let's go back to relaxed mode. I feel like maybe I should go fishing to use up the energy that I have left so that it's not wasted. If I go in now, will anything happen? No, nope. I've talked to everybody already, so no. I got worms, they're multiplying. And there's a recipe in a bottle. So I'll grab it once it decides to lower itself. Quick. I don't know why the game was cutting, the music was cutting in and out on the game just is then. It, uh, it is a recipe. Did I already get that recipe? No, I don't already have that recipe. I thought that it was like being like, you've already got this recipe. I was like, why would you give me a double up? So rude. Oh, how? Ugh, sardines. It would be- exactly, it'd be ridiculous to give me a recipe I already owned. I want the big guy. Quick. Oh. A herring! Another herring. Oh, quick! Oh, a mackerel. Dab. Alrighty. Chicks don't need to be fed or anything. They're all good and happy. 
this is currently being constructed. It's all gonna look so beautiful. Oh, it's all coming together, guys. We do have an ad break, though. Oh, do I have some soil ready? I have some soil ready. But I can't make any more soil. Oh my gosh. I'm still like, I'm gonna, because like this one will give me one and then I'll be like still seven short for soil for the, like the new lot that's gonna be here so that I might, I might have to not, I might, I might have to wait until after I convert to summer but I really, I really want to do it this stream still. So. Right, but it all depends on when the, when we get the weeds in the game. Um, but we're going to take a three minute break, so we'll be back in three minutes.
and we are back. We're going to bed. Am I ready for bed? Yes. Um, I was looking up on the interwebs just then. Oh, weeds. Um, whether or not there's like a way to get more weeds. And there were people that were saying like, if you leave some, they germinate better. But like, I don't know that there's actually any in-game logic to that. Have you been keeping an eye? Okay, she's not saying anything new. Hi, kitty cat. Hi, kitty. Thanks, Jess. Where are the bones coming from? Oh, weed. Yeah, I think that the weeds are just like random. Oh, we got we got a decent amount of them today, so we should be okay. We should, um, by the end of today, have enough soil. Maybe I don't know how many weeds did we get. Seven. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, no, I think we're still going to be short. That's like three. another cauldron. Nope, apparently not. Wait, oh, he gave me slap chips, okay. I was confused. The chicks need to be fed. Nugget! I got a chicken feather. That's cute. Yeah, they do. They randomly spawn each day. So, like, I don't think that anybody, like, that's saying that they germinate better when there's, like, already weeds actually knows what they're talking about. Are you going to get rid of the rats in here as well? Finn's decided he wants to knit Lena's dad a pair of socks. Now, he could use a project, and I'm sure Marcus would love him, but I'm just not keen on introducing Finn to pointy objects right now. Okay. Sounds like people don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> and we gotta give the kitten a pat. Hey there, kitty. Alrighty, I think that we're probably gonna do... Uh, favorite old exploit today to earn us some more money because we are short on funds. Alright, let's go to level 12. Hopefully, every yeah, it, well, it's Tuesday, and I checked yesterday that everybody was open on Tuesday, so. If they're not, their signs lied.
No, I did three. Because I accidentally pressed it three times. My thumb. It pressed the button too many times. I wasted 40 coins. <laughs> I wish that there was like a little thing that's like, hey, are you sure you want to eat this? Your energy is already like, you know, full or whatever. That would be nice. That would be nice if that little notification would come up. If like, you know, you were gonna fuck up like that. It would be nice. It would be nice if the game prevented me from fucking up so much. <laughs> Yeah, the accidental clicking in this game is like an actual problem that I've been having. Like it's not specific to the coffee drinking, it's also like when I'm interacting with characters I often accidentally click. Yeah, the dialogue accidental clicking. It's frustrating. Okay, it did not work. I'm trying to get like the, the, the things in all the levels, but for whatever reason, these last couple of levels, the way that they're spawning is not providing all of the unique assets. Which is a frustrating. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm struggling to get these four. I just thought of a way to get more soil if I if I delete these ones for now. They should give me soil. I don't think these ones will. That just gives me wood, but 
these ones will. I have 46 soil. 748 for nine. Oh, I'll be so close. I will be so close. Alright, we need to go and buy things. And... Yeah, even though it was easy in the other levels, I know, right? I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the deal is with the mines. All right, we need it. We need to get on this with regards to the fish sticks. Oh, hi, Shelby. Came out of nowhere. All right, that's open. That's open. That's open. Everything's open. What are you doing, Jesus? Cameron's always bringing me stew. I suppose he thinks I'll convert. <laughs> the poor fella. <laughs> It was relaxed. It just felt like it was going really fast. Don't forget to go pouring a bit of whiskey into the sea. Angler's got to offer something up from time to time. Yeah, I know. I feel like if you're going to, like, even if you're going to randomize it, you need to, like, randomize it in a way where, like, if everything, um... If... If everything um, gets, un like, you know, if every stone in that particular area gets, like, done, it should still be able to, like, find, find every unique a asset. Place. We've all got to work together to take care of it. Alright, flower. 50 flower. Gotta go home and cook it now. The majority of the level is clear. It should just give you the prompt that there aren't any barrels you can spend. Yeah, like, for whatever reason, we're just not going to let you do the thing. 50! Alright, now i got to go sell the food. Did I talk to Grandma today? Apparently I did. you got to go sell the fish fingers. Stay hydrated, everybody. Cooking always lifts my mood. I always thought that that ran in the family. Then Juliet came out practically attached to a guitar. Mm. Do that one more time, I think. Guy's always trying to convince me to join him out on the waves. I enjoy the craft, but it's not really my thing. This island was a popular port for pirates and smugglers back in the day. Whoa! Okay. I bet there's at least one sunken ship under those waves just full of golden gems. It's a shame we don't have a scuba diver on the island, huh? Ah. 
Natalia gives me mad weird looks whenever we pass each other. Like, is she going to eat me or she's scared of me? I don't know, my dude. What are you selling today? Ooh. Chili and paprika. Nice. Also, he's got a lemon seedling, which is tempting. So tempting. Gonna buy a hundred. Somebody told me that later on in this game you can change outfits and I'm like wondering how much later. I know that I'm still in spring which is the first season and I've been sort of dawdling in spring a little bit because I want to get like the farm to a certain status before I convert it over but like you know. I still feel like I want to know like how much later do I actually get things. Yeah, like, I just really dislike the outfit that she has on. It's like, look, I get that it's not a proper farm, it's a hobby farm, but you should still be wearing, like, better clothing than this. You shouldn't be wearing, like, a nice dress, a nice short dress, like these dress boots and a leather jacket. Like, it's just so inappropriate. I just like it. <laughs> Hi, Angus. Bread, buns, or a souffle? What are you craving today? Well... Oh, or perhaps you've got deliciousness to sell to me? Nope. Just thought I'd stop by and say hi. Oh, well that's sweet too. <laughs> Little baker pun there. Uh-huh. There we go. Sitting pretty. I'm gonna wait for these to grow a little bit more before I like start cutting them down again. I was aggressive. And these trees actually need to grow before you can get like substantial amounts of wood off of them. I very aggressively deforest the area. I probably should not have. <laughs> How much wood do I have? I don't even have like a huge amount of wood. I feel like there needs to be more wood like locations in this game, you know? I guess they don't sort of expect people to play like I'm playing. Like this is not what you're supposed to do. It's supposed to be a slow build. It says you have after you unlock the additional you have unlocked the boutique, then you get an additional tab for clothing. Oh, how do I unlock the boutique? Also, I've been meaning to sell you some tulips. Parker's my favorite customer. No offense to you, of course. He has a passion for flowers I really admire. I'm gonna sell you six. And one honey. Ooh. So I'm pretty sure in summer we get the sunflowers and the marigold. Did I get new things in your shop or does that not is that not a thing? I don't think it's a thing. Hmm. 
You know, the town hall has many interesting artifacts from Fairhaven's history on display. So feel free to view them anytime. Sure will. You'll receive a letter in the mail from Violet asking you to come by her shop, which will lead you to begin the quest that unlocks the boutique. If you're past this point in the story, you can already make clothes cloth in your tool shed, then look for a letter in your mailbox. Okay. So it happens later in the game. Swinging the hammer is a great way to get up. Luckily for me, my past is littered with worthless ex-boyfriends. Cool, cool, cool. It's always telling me that. No, nothing positive to say that one. Seaweed! Seaweed always randomizes so slowly. It's a good thing I don't need seaweed to make soil. I would never get it. Where's well, Sheldy? I already talked to you today, didn't I? Yeah. There's a shell. Did I talk to you already? Yep. Alrighty. Did you know that cows can eat up to 24 pounds of hay a day? Ah, nature. Miraculous. And expensive. <laughs> oh. Thomas! Everyone goes on about how wise Shelby is. But his life story is what really interests me. He's told you about his life before Fairhaven? All the time. You just have to ask him the right questions. Yeah, Tara is not a very good listener, to be perfectly honest. She doesn't hear what people are saying most of the time. She just hears, like, the literal version of it, which is frustrating. Because, like, as somebody who is a literal thinker, I can also, like, read between lines pretty well. And she just cannot <laughs> at all. Because it was not clearly not a skill that she, like, you know, cultivated in any way. Did I talk to you at all today, Papa Parker? I did, Papa Parker. Alright, I think that I'm probably going to have my character just go to bed early. And then there should be a barn to buy. Oh, such a good cat. And hopefully more weeds and hopefully I can get enough soil to do the garden patch. Oh. Wait, wait. Whoa. Hang on. This might actually help. This might help the situation. Violet's Boutique can be unlocked as early as summer year one after completing out of whole cloth. You will receive a letter. Yeah, so I haven't... I'm sleepy. We're still, we're still in spring. <sighs> so we haven't got to summer. So that'll be next season, which is fun. Yeah. Next season. A bun! In a barn in stable condition. 
I've been rewarded with... Oh, I can now do a hayfield? That's exciting. Speak to people around town and get to know their problems. Sometimes there's things you can do to help. Sometimes there's things they can do to help you. That's so true, Grandma. I love this boost harvest potion. It's literally my favorite potion. All right, let's see if there are more weeds. There's a little tree. There's a weed. Feed the chickens. Here you go, Nugget. Give the little Nugget a pat. And Layla, here's some food for you. And give you a little pat. I wonder how long it takes chickens to grow. Hey there, kitty. Okay, soil. Ah, okay. And I can make some. All right. All right, let's go see Parker and be like, hey, Hey, can you <laughs> can you build me a uh, a garden, a garden bit so I can be a farm, be a farmer, farm farm please, please. I think he opens at nine. I hope he's open today. It's Wednesday. I think he's like Monday to Friday. I'm going to go into the forest briefly, just in case there's anything to see here. We'll go on. Oh, there's a shoosh. Oh, Shelby. Don't go around overfishing. It's easy to get carried away and take more than you need to. I don't think you need to talk to me about overfishing. I think you need to talk to me about deforestation. That's the mistake I made. I think every community needs a place to gather. Well, what about Damon's Bar? I mean, a uh, healthy place. Ugh, I hate him.
All right, let's go speak to Parker. Hopefully, I haven't forgotten anything. I love the smell of sawdust. Is that weird? It depends what you mean by smell. Are you huffing? Oh, heck. I need iron ingot. Ooh, okay, so for this I need, like, just a whole bunch of soil. Okay. Heck, I need iron ingot. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I need iron ingot, but I guess I do. Chickens can be purchased from Marty at the Hayseed, Ho Hayseed Homestead for 250 coins. They take one full week to grow from chicks into adult chickens. Oh, nice. At which point they will start laying one egg per day. Though all chickens are identical, adult chickens may be white, brown, or black. Nice. Thank you for looking out. The only good thing about being stuck with an island dating pool is that no one can ghost you. We're always going to run back into each other. Are you a ghost? Of You'd think working with teeny tiny jewels would translate to Francis having some precision in the kitchen, but it doesn't. Don't get me wrong, my boo can cook, but there's a 50-50 chance of him Whoa. getting injured. Signature dishes or might need stitches. There's no in between. Wow. Uh, do I have enough now? Or do I need to go back to the mines today? <laughs> I have enough now. Let me get my wheelbarrow, and I'll be right over to set up your new patch. Should only take a day or so. Yay! I'm really hoping that I don't need the the things that, like the the planting boxes in the vegetable patch. If I do, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Whoa! Look at this! Look at all this stuff! Okay, let's check out the barn before we get any animals into it. Oh my gosh, there's still mice! Get out of here! Jeez, why are there mice? Alright, let's go get some animals. First, let's just check out the beaches. Oh geez, what if he's not open today? I hope he's open today. I hate that everybody's schedule is so weird. like i like that it's that that people get breaks but it's also like this is a game not real life okay he is there so i assume he is open what the course books don't tell you is that bags of feed are heavy we should have had to do push-ups as part of our degree requirements. Then I'd have built some muscle mass, at least. Alrighty. A sheep. We're buying a sheep! Here is your animal. Now, what would you like to call her? Ooh, marshmallow is pretty good.
Oh, rosemary's pretty good. I think I'm gonna go with rosemary for my sheep. Rosemary. It's too much to wrap your head around. Yeah, I can't keep track of everybody's schedule. That's definitely a name. I need some hay. I would also like a cow. Here is your animal. Now, what would you like to call her? Patty is pretty good. Waffles, oh my gosh, waffles is great. Milkshake, eh. <laughs> Cataclysm. Waffles. I'm gonna go with waffles. Waffles. That's definitely a name. He's very judgmental. All right, Rosemary. <laughs> he is rude. Look at them. They're so cute. I know, we didn't need his input. Look at the cuties. Oh my gosh, we got animals now. This is so good. I love this. They're going inside where it's nice and warm. Fantastic, look at them. Oh my gosh, we got Layla and Nugget, and we got Rosemary and, um, what did I name the cow again? Waffles. Waffles. Rosemary and Waffles, Nugget and Layla. I love it. Uh, incredible. Oh, such a pretty girl. Alright, I'm putting down a garden bed. Because I will like to plant things eventually. I think that I will go mining today, I guess. Because I need to get some more iron and stuff, I guess. Let's try level 13 again. I can't remember which level I actually tried last time. We're on 11. I know that we tried 7 and 11. I can't remember exactly how many times I've tried 12 and 13 though.
Ah. We're getting a, a decent amount of silver in here. Okay. So I got a sapphire. Is the topaz the one that I need to find in here? I don't think I'm going to find it. I think that this is going to be another one where I, for whatever reason, can't get the star. Very frustrating. Why did it fling all the way over there? At least we're getting a whole bunch of silver. Yep, that's it. I think that's everything. Oh well. Maybe I just need to stop chasing the pipe dream of getting stars. <laughs> Hi kitty. Bird of churn, okay. Ooh, okay, so that's what I, I need to mine for those things. I got a juice press already. Need gold for the metal working table, so that's gonna take a while. Uh, 
Let's see how much of this iron that I can actually make. I might not have gone to the right place in the mine because I got a whole bunch of silver rather than iron. Can't make very much. I can make a whole bunch of silver. <laughs> um, to make some of this stuff, yes. It's not like super crucial. It's just fun stuff. This glass kiln. I I I do want it. I like the butter churn will be good. I can wait on the butter churn though because I don't have milk yet because my cow is not yet mature. But the glass kiln I think would be useful. Oh jeez. It's a space suck though, isn't it? I can make carrot juice, but I don't really want to. Paper is immediate. Alrighty. Um. I think that this will only take like a day. Right? Does it take a day or does it take two days? I know it's early, but if I send my character to bed now... I'm gonna boost the soil. The coop took... The coop took like... Two, yeah, these things took two days, but the, this is different. This is just soil. I feel like this stuff you're supposed to do after you do this stuff, but I was just excited. I really wanted the animals, you know? But I think that this was the thing that you were supposed to do first. I just didn't have my priorities in the right order. I'm sleepy. <sighs> nope, it's still going. Finding you need a boost in energy to get something done? Brew up a batch of that restorative tea at the stove and drink it. Ah, I don't have enough conch shells. Okie dokie. So this is not a feeding pen, this is to grow more more things. Like it's a larger farming space for like crops. Uh, the hay thing was um, to grow specifically for growing hay for your animals. But this is specifically for crops that you then sell. Yeah, it's an extra crop area because the like the base crop area you get is so tiny. There you go, waffles. Hi, Rosemary.
It's raining out here. You might get wet. They're fully grown. Holy shit. Well, I mean, they're not fully grown, but like the the bait. Are they fully grown? Wait, are they laying eggs right now? That was less than a week. That was way less than a week, wasn't it? That was like three days. Are they laying eggs or are they asleep? I need to feed you. Nugget. Okay, so Nugget is this dark brown. And Layla is this sort of like lighter brown color. Look at them. Look at my beautiful chickens. They're so cute and pretty. And the eyes, they look so dopey. <laughs> I love them. Alright, I am gonna change the settings to challenge. Uh, because I would like the stay to go a little bit faster. Because I don't have anything particularly that I need to do. But I am going to go around and talk to everybody today that I can. I'm not really one for socializing. That's more Angus's thing. But I still enjoy company. Cool beans. Baked goods can cure any broken heart. All you need is love. Get it? I sure do. I would avoid the woods after I mean. He says the same thing all the time. I'd love to have Amira model one of my designs. She's got the best taste on the island. After me. <laughs> Deep in thought, Vanessa? What's that, dear? Oh, I'm so sorry. How rude of me. Yes, I was just contemplating our little town and all of its secrets. Secrets? Well, that would be telling, wouldn't it? Okay. <laughs> it's easy to complain about my mom. But there's upsides to living with a chef. I told Sophia she should have a punch card for her diner, like some of the restaurants in Milkwater do. Buy 10 chocolate milkshakes, get a chocolate cupcake for free. <laughs> That's a lot of chocolate. I know. Wouldn't it be great? <laughs> I bet I can do it in one day. Jesus Christ, kid. Calm down. I wish the island had roads. Not that there's a lot to see. I just want to drive a real car one day. <laughs> hey, are you here to bust me out of this place? <laughs> Sorry, but no. Oh man. Well, that's right, Parker would be at my place, wouldn't he? Let's go into the woods. Just say hello to Shelby, I guess. Oh, and you're here too. Parker came by the other day to see if I needed directions to his workshop. What a nice guy! I wish he was my neighbor instead of Thomas. Don't hate on Thomas. If you're going to hate on Thomas, Marty, we can't be friends. This house, we respect Thomas. Oh. Alright, we have an ad break coming up. I'm going to talk to these people after the ad break. Um, but yeah, take three minutes to stretch and, you know, move around a little bit and have some water and take a break. We'll be back.
Alrighty, we are back. This is perfect. Bake up some fresh snickerdoodles weather. I'll have to swing by Kai's stall for some cinnamon. Thank you. If you sweep all your problems under the rug, You'll need a really big rug. Alright, but what about if I pack all my troubles in my old kit bag? Do you ever think about that? Maybe I, maybe I don't have a rug that I sweep them all under. Maybe I have a bag that I pack them all into. <laughs> yeah, everybody just ignores that it's raining and stands around outside. It is some wild behavior. I always actually forget to talk to Amira. I don't have a very good relationship with her because Every I forget about her. Sebastian's in the clinic for something. Between him and Kai, we need a community watch program to make sure they don't get into too much trouble. You should go to Damon's bar in the evenings. It's an easy way to get to know people. I have a few times. Sophia's a good mom. Being here reminds me to check in with mine more often. Sweet. Why? Oh, Amira's been asking me to slow my drinking down. What she doesn't know is that it's the secret to my longevity. The drinks keep me tip top, like a pickle in a good bro. <laughs> okay. If you want to believe that. My parents called the other day and asked if I wanted to sell the bar. They said it'd be good to travel, but I'm not sure where I'd even go. Hmm. Seems complicated. My parents always pushed for me to be the best in everything. It's hard not to feel inadequate, but I'd rather stay happy. Okay, so we can buy bones. Let's buy some meat. We haven't bought meat before. We got some new recipes.
A banana. Does Thomas have? He does not seem to be anywhere around his property. Oh, there he is. My mother told me she saw a mermaid at this very beach as a girl. No. I never believed her. But now I wonder. Huh. I wonder if that's like a plot line. Do we get to see a mermaid? I would love to see a mermaid. Let's check, quick check in on the babies. Oh, they're all tucked away. The cuties, cutie patooties. Oh my gosh, they're sleeping. Oh, Natalia's up there. I got soil. I got extra soil, which is good. Messenger Cameron mentioned that he's running low on candles. He says he writes better sermons by candlelight. Maybe we could burn his place down by candlelight. You know. Then maybe you can actually put, put to the test all of his um, pinnacle preaching. Okay, I should slow it down. Hey, why did I <laughs> just getting in her way? Oh, the moonflowers are in bloom. Don't go near the standing stones. Our coven has kind of a bad history with them. Did you know that women healers were burned for being witches for centuries, even when many of them weren't witches? Strange. A woman who can heal terrifies people. I try not to think too much about what that means. There's no way that this isn't Amara. And I'm pretty sure this is Violet. I'm pretty sure this is Lena. This is definitely Shelby. And I'm pretty sure this is Francis. Like, I, I've got their identities. I don't know why they think that like hiding them actually makes a difference at this point. The forest is full of useful ingredients for potions. Do not neglect its bounty. Is the coven the reason people seem to be afraid of these woods? Who's afraid? It's not the woods that will do them harm. People do a fine job creating their own troubles. Try to not blow off any arms or legs while trying out new spells. It's harder to stay in secret society that way. I did think for a while that maybe this was Damon. But Damon is always at the bar of an evening. So it doesn't make sense for this to be Damon. It does make sense for this to be Francis, though.
It is a bit rude that everybody knows my identity and I don't know anybody else's identity. And that I don't get to change into my mask and robes, like, all the time. There's chicken on our stuff. Oh, we have a glass. And we have a candle. Let's make some more glass. Am I ready for bed? Yes. <sighs> what were you about to say, Jess? Hell yeah. Hi, Grandma. Finding you need a boost in energy to get something done? Brew up a batch of that restorative tea at the stove and drink it. Oh, I can't just plant things. That's bullshit. I still need planter beds. That's such bullshit. It's unfair how um, they get to know your identity, but they hide theirs. Yeah, right? It's like, I get that I'm the newbie, but like, the power imbalance is way off. extra weight so it's not worth like wait are they just leaving eggs lying about i don't think that's how that's supposed to work okay layla little pat time what a good chicken and nugget you can get some food And some pets. And I'll pick up these eggs. Alright. Oops. Time to feed the sheep. There you go, Rosemary. I yeah, I'll see. I'm gonna get to you soon, Waffle. Here's some food for you, Waffles. Okie dokie. I wish you could just buy soil. Like, the amount of soil that was used here that I just don't get back now is ridiculous. Legitimately. I don't know what I can use this glass for, but I'm making glass. 
It took so long and then I couldn't even plant directly into it. I still needed to make garden beds. It's bullshit. Remember to eat. Ideally, something delicious. This island was a popular port for pirates and smugglers back in the day. I bet there's at least one sunken ship under those waves just full of golden gems. But, on the plus side, we have achieved all the things that we needed to achieve. Except changing the seasons. So that's the last thing to do before we end stream. We'll do the change of the seasons. That surfer gentleman, Kai, right? Said Fairhaven used to host surfing competitions. The town should start that up again. Could be a big money maker. And a, a way for folks to get closer to the beauty of nature, of course. You know, the town hall has many interesting artifacts from Fairhaven's history on display. But feel free to view them anytime. Okay. I should speed the day up. Actually, maybe I'll go mining. It's just to like build up some of the, the resources that the I Mayor's need. The Mansion has an amazing library. It's sort of wasted on the current occupant though. Okay. Stop by Town Hall anytime if you're looking for volunteer opportunities. We could always use another pair of hands. I forgot to do my language arts worksheet. Please do it for me. No. <laughs> I think Mrs. Soft would be onto us pretty fast. Oh, come on. You're probably not that much better at language arts than me. Wow. Burn. I wish the island had roads. Not that there's a lot to see. I just want to drive a real car one day. I babysit the Johnson twins sometimes. I don't even know where their mom goes. It's not like there's anything to do around here. Dad gave us some wood from a shop to make a lemonade stand. But we still need lemons and water and sugar. <laughs> Next time Kai comes in here to borrow my clear coat for a board paint job, I've got to make sure I remind him to use it in a well-ventilated space only. Oh my god. Love that guy. Swear I do. But I don't think he can afford to get any more flight. <laughs> Alright. So this is the own, like, I can, I can upgrade the tool shed. I don't really want to do that right now. This is the next thing that I'm working towards. And I need so much soil for it. So much soil. <laughs> And I still need, like, my basis of soil to be replenished. There's a giant peanut on the ground! I don't know why the peanuts are huge. I'm so glad Sophia has her cafe just around the corner from the Consciousness Center. Counseling my members doesn't leave me much time for cooking, and my culinary attempts tend not to go too well. You can just say, I'm bad at cooking. It's okay, dude. Kim's good to go fishing with. They enjoy the silence and don't pry too much. I do like him. 
which reminds me, we didn't actually check out those new recipes we got. The meat recipes. Oh, hi. Nature's a great source of inspiration for crafting new cocktails. Like pine syrup. That'd be cool in a cocktail, right? If they, like, tell us that, that Damon is the one that's in the, the um, coven, I'm gonna call bullshit because Damon is in his bar every night that the coven is meeting. Bruno, turn me on the fishing. I never thought I'd be a fishing sort of woman. Okay. I am so stoked for summer. I can go down to my three mil wetsuit. This spring is dragging on, huh? We've got an apple tree, a pineapple, and some cinnamon. Um. It's a shame Hazel gave up raising chickens. I miss having those farm fresh eggs every morning. Well, I do have eggs again. I do have chickens again. Only two though, so only only two farm fresh eggs. And they are all mine. I keep in them. Every other week Sebastian's in the clinic for something. Between him and Kai, we need a community watch program to make sure they don't get into too much trouble. Bruno, hi. Otto says I drink like a fish. Well, that must be how I know where to find them. I get in the heads. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Hey. Still here, Wash Ashore? I sure am. Better mind the ebb tide. Okay, nothing is on the beach. Alright, we'll do some mining and then we'll do the change of the seasons and that will be the stream. And then next time which will probably just be tomorrow um we'll pick up in summer yeah um might as well go to seven <sighs> Well, we're going to find mostly iron ore, which is what we need. We need iron ore. I mean, technically, the other all, all the levels should have iron ore. It's just the, the quantities of which they have them in varies. This one should be, like, basically almost equal parts copper and iron.
Oh, it was literally that I hadn't picked up a mushroom yet. How ridiculous. And so it like it's it so very much depends on like whether or not the level like loads it in with all of the stuff it needs. Yeah, just just the mushroom, just picking up one thing. Rock. Alrighty. I wonder whether that's true of the other ones. I'm gonna like see whether a mushroom loads into this level so that I can like pick. Okay, so this one's not mushroom related. I'm pretty sure this one is um, gemstone related. This one also is not mushroom related. It's good to check though. Ah, let me through, let me through. see a mushroom. Can't even pick a mushroom because there ain't none. Yeah, it's good to check everything. Alright. Fairly certain on the other levels it's gemstone rather than mushroom. Alright. I'm gonna go to the speed up. so that we can get to the evening time so that we can change the seasons Swinging the hammer is a great way to get out frustrations from your past. Luckily for me, my past is littered with worthless ex-boyfriends. I don't know why that's luckily for you, but okay. What are the, some of the things that are on the bulletin board? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hi, Amira. All right. <laughs> hi, Marty. All right, we wait for the cover now. Shouldn't take super long because we're in challenge mode. And the time goes so heckin' fast in challenge mode. Okay, prediction though. Prediction for when I change the seasons. Uh, Grandma is gonna die. She's not gonna live into summer, really. She's like, this spring was the only season that she got to survive. She's basically gonna die. Which is sad. But... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what the storyline is telling me. Um, it's like, they've been talking about how Hazel has cancer, and that she's not going to, like, in, into any treatment for it. She wants to die at home, peacefully. She's left the farm to, to Tara. So, yeah, she's not gonna make it past the change of the seasons. That's my prediction. So this, this stream, unfortunately, is probably gonna end on a little bit of a sad note. <laughs> um, but it means that we will be like having a, a very fresh start when it picks up. next stream we have to meet at night to keep the coven secret from the townsfolk but make sure you get your sleep tired witches just brew up trouble and not the good kind is all the secrecy and fancy speech getting to you yet <laughs> is it that obvious <laughs> i was the same at the start it's annoying but worth it I got a letter from an institute focused on herb lore. They want to recruit me. I love potions, but I'm not sure if that's the right move for me. I can't believe magic schools are actually a thing. Girl, they've been around for ages. They're also crazy expensive, so it's like, probably not a real option. What kind of witch will you be? A good witch? There are no good witches or bad witches. Only good or bad actions. Okay. Yeah, it will be a bit of a bittersweet ending. The forest is full of useful ingredients for potions. Do not neglect its bounty. I love how Tara is like standing on the steps to be the same height. I brought the spirit flame potion. Well done. Be aware that the crops that thrive in spring will wilt under the summer sun. It's best you finish any tasks that still need to be done. I finished all the tasks that need to be done. Now, are you ready to say goodbye to spring? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I am ready for some summer sun. Wonderful. Let us begin. Take your place in the circle. Oh. And so we begin the turning of the seasons, just as our ancestors have done for thousands of years. Novice. Pour the spirit flame into the sacred bowl to ignite our fire. We're the one in the purple robe. This is our this is our robe. We inherited it from our grandmother. We say goodbye to the gentle sun of spring. We welcome the golden dawn of summer. Um, yes. We turn the seasons, like they said. <laughs> oh, somebody's angry. Oh, 
<laughs> Honeybee. You're here. Grandma's dying. I knew it. I knew it. Also, I had forgotten about that, like, you know, raven, per like, the, the bird person that, like, try was trying to get in before. That's, like, how the game opened. I think it might be either Veronica or Cameron. There's, like, good arguments either way, but I have a strong feeling it's it's Veronica, the, um, is her name Veronica? The school teacher, um, the mayor's wife. Anyway, Grandma's dying. Of course I am, Grandma. For a moment, I thought you were Robert coming to collect me. I, I felt a warm breeze. Yes, we turn the seasons. That's all. <laughs> still a skeptic, I see. But there is still so much you haven't seen. Still so much to learn and do. Oh, I've done my best to take care of Violet since her mother disappeared. Don't worry. I promise I'll be here for her. I know you will, sweetheart. You're going to do great. I'm proud of you. I'm so glad you came back to see me. Aww. Me too. I just wish we had more time. <laughs> oh, this is really sad. We had <laughs> time enough. <laughs> We've learned how to run the farm. I'll take good care of it for you. And I know you can bring the community and the covenant together. Promise me. You'll remember everything I've taught you. I promise. You will be a marvelous witch. I can already see your powers blooming. It's time for me to rest. Okay, goodbye, Grandma. Take care. My beautiful little honeybee. I love you. I love you too, <laughs> Grandma. Goodbye, Grandma Hazel. Oh. I'll take up your mantle and protect the town. You can rest now. Today, we say goodbye to one of this town's <laughs> finest citizens, Hazel Wild. Her dear friend Lena is going to say a few words. Hazel was my mentor. Yes, but she was more than that. She was always giving. Advice, a bowl of soup, a basket of fresh eggs. She never, ever gave up on those she loved. And she loved this island more than anything. And now she's given us Terra. Oh, we are so glad you're here. It means Hazel hasn't really left us. Thanks, Lena. Hello. Whoa. You're Hazel's granddaughter? I'm Wesley. Okay, are you a werewolf? Where the hell did you come from? I've never seen you around before. Oh, I don't live in Fairhaven. Oh, I see. So you came over on the ferry from Milkwater. Well, thanks for taking the time to come all that way. Um, of course. I wanted to come pay my respects. Okay, he clearly is a werewolf. Look at him. Look at him. He's not normal. Hazel was a wonderful friend. Oh, um, and I uh, have this for you. I run a rare bookshop, you see. Hazel had me fix the binding on this old family heirloom. I know she would have wanted you to have it. Oh, uh, th th thank you so much. Well, I should go. Nice to meet you, Tara. That's the most werewolf looking guy I've ever seen. He might also be a vampire, but he looks so much like a werewolf. Nice to meet you too. Oh. 
Wait. That's not the way to the ferry. <laughs> That's not the way to the ferry. Look, Tara. I'm real sorry about Hazel. She was a special lady. I'll be sure to raise a glass to her at the bar. I just can't believe Hazel's really gone. Since my dad moved away for work, things got lonely. Hazel was there for us. She made me feel like everything was going to be okay. I wish I could have done more to help her. If only we had more time. There's nothing anyone could have done. Don't blame yourself. Take care of yourself. There are people here who will help you. We need to stick together. Thanks. I didn't really know Hazel, but I can tell from the way people speak about her that she was special. Thanks. She was. Have you had anything to eat today? Would you like something to take home? <laughs> That's so thoughtful of you, Kim. I really appreciate it. I'm not going to turn away free food. In times of loss, it could be tempting to wallow in grief. You could- Cameron. Cameron. Literally, you just need to say, I am sorry for your loss. And... I- please, please, please don't be a dick about this. Please. But I don't think that's what your grandmother would have wanted for you. My grandmother didn't like you. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... That is a really good point. Come by the consciousness of time. We're here to help. My deepest sympathies for the loss of your grandmother. See, if Cameron had just said this, right? Thank you. I don't think she ever voted for me. <laughs> but that's not what matters now. <laughs> that's so funny. What a thing to bring up at her funeral. That's hilarious. You no doubt have a lot on your mind, but I need to tell you that your grandmother left everything to you. The farm, the house, all of her possessions are yours now. She did? <sighs> Thanks for letting me know. I know you're still processing these sorrowful events, but I fervently hope that you will decide to stay. Hazel was ready. She knew it was her time. But it's still all right to be upset and to mourn her. You deserve that space for yourself. Hey, I'm seriously bummed <laughs> on your behalf. Oh, come on, Kai. This is just really heavy, brah. Thanks, Kai. Today, when I paddle out, I'm going to catch a bomb just for Hazel. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure that would have meant a lot to her. <laughs> Hazel was a true friend and a darn good steward of her land. I'll miss her. Look, I'm really sorry to hear about Hazel. This is a tough deal. Thanks. I'm not great at these situations. Um, let me know when you're feeling better? My own grandma helped raise me while my parents were working night shifts in the city. I miss her every day. My heart goes out to you. Thank you. And sorry about your grandma. Cameron says we just have to work Ugh. to live up to their hopes for us. I'll try. I know what it's like to lose someone you were close to. A kind word would have meant a great deal to me then. You have my sympathies. Thanks, Vanessa. Vanessa, that's her name. I kept calling her Veronica. Sorry about your Graham. My dad said those we've lost never really leave us. I don't think it's true, though. He feels pretty gone to me. I'm sorry about your grandma. My grandpa's gone too. Well, not 
gone, gone, but he's at Harmony Acres. It's this place in Milkwater for old folks who can't remember anymore. I don't like going that much. Yeah, he's like, he's gone mentally. He's the same difference. I don't blame you. That sounds hard. Yeah, but at least we get to take the ferry over. I love taking the ferry. Um, my mom told me about your grandma. I'm sorry. You must be really sad, huh? Yes, but I'll be okay. I have an idea to cheer you up. Wanna come help me and Emmy pull a prank on Messenger Cameron later? Um, genuinely, yes, that would be amazing. That would definitely help. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> We're gonna super glue all of his books of the mind to the chair. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, but no thanks. I think I'll sit this one out. Tara does not represent me or my feelings. I would totally do that. That's too bad. Promise not to tell on us. Oh, don't worry. This conversation never happened. I only knew your abuela a short while, but she was a lovely person. I'm so sorry. Thanks. Look, honey, if you have an heirloom you want me to adjust for you, I'm happy to do it free of charge. I am so sorry about your grandma. She used to joke I would have to pry her secret cookie recipe from her cold, dead hands. <laughs> but I thought that's just Hazel being Hazel. It's okay. I'm fine, really. You're being so brave. She would have been very proud. Thanks. I think that I talked to basically everyone except Lena. Where's Lena? Oh, there's some people over here. I missed all these people. I'm like, I think I talked to everyone. Meanwhile, there's five people standing over here that I haven't talked to. Your grandma knew you would come back to take care of her in the end. She did? Oh, yeah. I told her. I don't get it. <laughs> Nah, you sure don't. God, he's in the coven. His name in the coven is Farseer. He is a seer. He sees the future. Hazel is so... D not Hazel. Tara. Tara is so dense, actually. Like, he should be able to pick up on these things. Hazel was a special lady and one heck of a good baker. Oh, I'm gonna miss her. She would have wanted me to make sure that you're well fed, so here, try some of this. Thanks, Angus. Oh, cornbread, nice. Hey, this might be like weird or whatever, but Julia and I, we're, we're part of a, a grief group. That's really sweet. It, it's for kids, but you can come if you want. I, I don't think anyone would care. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Oh my god. That's genuinely so sweet. Hi. I've been meaning to stop by, but I, I didn't want to intrude. Oh, my heart goes out to you. Hazel was a truly decent person. Strong, too. It is. It's, it was wholesome. Sebastian is wholesome. I see a lot of her in you. Thanks. Made you something. Of course, I'm not much of a cook, but I can keep a fire lit under a pot at least. Oh, pumpkin soup. Lovely. I am grateful that Hazel was still her same fiery self right until the end. My father isn't so fortunate. Oh, Tara, I'm so sorry. How stupid of me. I can't imagine how you must feel. It's okay. I'll miss her. She was a wonderful mentor and a steadfast friend. Alright, I think I've talked to everyone now. 
Oh, Natalia, we really appreciate all the time you've spent volunteering here at the Consciousness Center. I wasn't expecting this. But the real work now is to go into the community and try to bring more folks in. I've been doing that, messenger. See, um, my friend, ah, Tara, she's here. Uh, what? <laughs> yep, uh, I'm here because Natalia has been raving about the Book of the Mind. Wonderful, great work, Natalia. None of those seem like good options. If you'll excuse me, I need to go prepare my next session. Can I tell you a secret? I'm trying to impress Messenger Cameron. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a bit of a crush on him. This is the worst. Oh, of course, I doubt I'm alone in that. I hate, I hate that. I hate it that I walked into that. I hate that. That was... That was the worst time for that to happen. <laughs> Black girl get real. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna have a quick wander around. Oh, the clock changed at the top left-hand corner. It's all like pink now because it's it's summer. That's cool. Because it was like green for spring. Now it's like pink for summer. Okay, apparently I can't talk to them anymore because I already talked to them. I talked to Parker, yep. Yeah, so basically like this is the day of morning. I talked to Francis. Alright, I should feed the animals. Oh. Constituents name here. You are cordially invited to attend Oh, there is the art festivals to attend the annual Fairhaven Summer Festival. It's in just a few weeks. Hope to see you there. Mayor Otto Soft. Festival starts in 15 more days. There you go. Alrighty. A weed. I'll pick some weeds. The more you know. And we'll feed the chickens. Come here, Layla. Give the cat a pat. Aww, who's a good kitty? Feed these animals. Rosemary. Well, okay. <laughs> Give you a good little pat. Good little pat. Alrighty. Well, that's everybody looked after, I think. Huh? 
can make some more soil. Oh, oh, there's something new that's growing. What is it? A poppy! A spring pop. No, the summer poppies now. <laughs> Got the season wrong. That's cool. Alrighty. Is there gonna be any. Oh, there's a cutscene. Finally, a moment to myself. Now I can look at that book that, um, that man. Wesley gave me. Hang on, I have to sneeze the ad. Huh. Looks like a journal. Grandma's journal. This is her handwriting. Hell yeah. On the front flap it says, To my dear niece, to record thoughts both mundane and magical. Vivian. Okay, so that's your great aunt, I guess? Vivian was Grandma's aunt. She must have been a witch, too. Yes. <laughs> Here's the first entry. Today's chores took me through the portal, where I spoke at length with the fairies. Oh my gosh, I'm jealous. Did she write fairies? Maybe I'm misreading the writing. Or maybe there's even more to discover on this island than I realized. To summer it up for you. Task complete. You have been rewarded with things. Uh, an increased energy spell. An incantation to permanently increase your energy bar. Hell yeah. Dullness binds my body tightly. Awaken me and make me sprightly. Oh, that's that's decent, isn't it? It was Grandma's broom. I guess it's my broom now. Aha! I can make another cauldron now. I won't. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alrighty. She looks so sad. Oh well. Yeah, it's, it's a nice buff. Alright. So that... Oh my gosh, it's always so loud. So that was wildflowers spring we're finished with spring and we're now into summer um and i appreciate everybody for hanging out with me today i appreciate jess for the raid um oh my gosh the game is so loud right now i'm just gonna turn it down a little bit um i appreciate jess for the raid i appreciate jess for the resubscription I appreciate Shelby for coming in and resubscribing and also gifting five subscriptions and for you guys doing my first hype train ever. That was so much fun. It was so amazing. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, and I'll catch all you chill cats, killer kittens and variations thereupon next time, probably tomorrow, for more wildflower. Yeah. Alrighty, let's have a look and see who we might raid. I feel like I should pick somebody who is not necessarily playing Wildwell, but playing something cozy, you know? Let's have a look. Do I have anybody that is playing something cozy right now? Uh, I don't see anybody playing any playing anything cozy on my list. An indie game could be cozy. Let's look and see whether anybody else is playing Wildflowers. Nope, it's just me. <laughs> it is just me. Um.
Yeah, I don't know. I do not see anybody that I know well enough to write into. Yeah, we might just actually, instead of writing, we might just end stream. Because I don't know that I have anybody to write into. But I appreciate all you guys. Um, and I hope that you have a lovely night or day or whatever time zone it happens to be for you. Catch you guys next time, hopefully tomorrow, where we're going to be playing Summer for Wildflowers. Catch you later.